Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for a new show. So number two of From the Sidelines is now live. So it's episode 10. We made it, guys. We're at double digits. We this may be a little different to you. Welcome in to the first video episode of From the Sidelines. This is episode 19. That's our special guest for this week, Ryan Doss. Ryan Wolf, uh, also known as Verbal. Matt the Gym Rat. Colt Lucal. Will 40 Media Mosley. Jerry Caro. There's a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah. So we're going to jump into it. I flex Good. my mining skills, baby. God, that was the weakest <laughs> flex ever had. It's the lighting in here, bro. We have the president of the NXL directly behind us. I go, all right, Brando, what are the odds you show him your ass right now? I'm pretty get... sure you're actually admitting to a low-grade sex no. crime right now, yeah, but it's cool. We got Steven Hatch. We got Brandon Brando Baird. My name is Ryan Mafia Moffitt. And we're going to catch you guys on the next one. Hit us with it, Hatch. Bye. There we go. See you guys later. And with those words, guys, it is my proud privilege to welcome you into episode number 52 of From the Sidelines. Guys, we did it. We've made it. We're it's, here. Uh, it's one year. We're into the show. I'm proud. I'm excited of all you guys. Let's get Kind of the you know the the formalities out of the way real quickly here let's bring in our host we got mr stephen hatch what is up buddy welcome back man good to be on the mainland if you know what the locals would say <laughs> oh so. yeah okay mahalo my guy <laughs> but uh no i mean i wanted to bring you in first bro you and me this has been 52 weeks oh. in a row of us sitting down for at least two hours a week and you know shooting the shit man really is surreal i feel like i've brought my so much of my personal life out into the world that it's so funny when people actually talk to me about my stories in real life i'm like hmm who, how the hell did you know and then <laughs> you know i keep forgetting that we have a podcast yeah no so. it definitely is a funny I've, I've heard some of those moments where you're like dude they walked up to me and they fucking told me about this or this and i was like yeah man they're, they're fans mm -hmm. of the show uh, and we appreciate you guys out there let's uh. also bring in our other reoccurring host he hasn't been here as long, but he, he'll make his way there. We'll, we'll throw him a little something special when he hits one year. But Brandon Brando Baird, what's up, my guy? Yo, uh, it, I haven't been here the whole time, but I am the longest third host on the show. My guy. That is true. Like to say that. that is so, a good point. You've done milestone. the most shows out of anyone in your slot on the show. Absolutely. And, You're the tailor uh, yeah. to our Wings of Redemption. Yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not as funny, but uh, yeah, you'll good. get there one day. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, we have a jam-packed show. We have uh, headbands to give away. We got uh, merchandise to release. We've got a special guest on the show. His name is, well, Matt the Gym Rat. We'll bring him in here in just a second. <sighs> but before I do that, I need to tell you about our sponsors. We got Liquid IV. We'll talk about it more later on in the show. But if you need some hydration, head over to liquidiv.com. Get yourself 20% off and free shipping with code Mafia underscore Moffitt. And we also got Nectar Energy, any CTR. We got their two flavors, ice mint and or fresh mint and ice mango. And yeah, well, uh, same thing. Talk about them more later on. But the code over there is Mafia Productions, and that's going to get you a buy two or buy three get two uh, offer as well as free shipping. So thank you to them. And then we've been talking about this, the headband. We're going to give that away later on this show. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but in other Patreon news. Guys, we're, get, we're getting closer. Um, I'm getting scared. People are signing up. Um, we're actually about, we're like a 30, no, we're more than 30%. We're like 40% of the way now to me having frosted tips at Cup. So I'm getting scared by the Expected day. That. So Expected please, that. please don't make me do that or do. It'll be funny and great content, but you can head over to patreon.com slash mafia productions and you can get signed up to, yeah, make me uh, frost my tips at Cup. Now, with it. all with all the formalities out of the way, let's bring in Matt the Gym Rat, who is one of those members on Patreon. We appreciate him for supporting. Mm, but, yes, sir. I mean, what's up, bro? Matthew Davies, he's in the building. <laughs> Use my full name, dude. I thought you were going to uh, pull name. my social security card after that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Dude, what's up, man? I'm so excited to be here. Um, I haven't done a podcast since, like, I think the last time I did one with y'all. So it's been Damn. a... Damn. Or no, no, I did, I did one between that, but I mean, like, it feels like forever. Uh, I've kind of been like in a, a lull for paintball and everything like that, just but really relaxing. Uh, you know, personal life stuff happening, work's been picking up, but uh, I'm super excited to be here, dude. I've kind of get, been getting this itch back with everything that's been going on, but uh, man, dude, uh, freaking a year, yeah, man, a whole year, a year in a row. Look at us, dude. That's so you know, wild. It feels long, but it's really not that long in the grand scheme of things. Mm mm. No, dude. Podcast and, and, life. Well, that's a great point, Hatch. It's definitely not 
really a long goal like hey i mean there's shows i've listened to for the better part of 12 years now but we're on our way and i feel like that's the first step of hey we're committed guys we've been here for a year creating consistent content like we're in this brando hatch we're always going to bring a cool guest on we appreciate our friends everyone who's come on so far in the past year matt you kind of be get to be their designated speaker tonight because you're the guy here but uh, no, guy. we sincerely appreciate everyone who supports it. Whether you're over on Patreon, whether you're, hey, every week you just listen to the show, you said in Hatch's code word of the week, which if you don't know what that is, you need to stick around to the end of the show. Um, mm -hmm. But in that spirit, guys, I'm going to raise a glass. I'm going to do a little shot here. Going to start it off right. I know not everyone has a drink, but hey, I figured it's a celebration. So Root cheers. Beer. Thank you to everyone out there in the audience. Here's uh, to one year and to a lot more to come, guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, my Ooh. girly drink's very delicious. Good. Very good. Some uh, nice not a basil drink, Hayden. Dude. I like mm. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fancy. Good. It's the glass because <laughs> you like it. You yeah, guys have been the, drinking the, fruity the, drinks all week, thing. am I right? I've been going crazy, dude. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. The fruity, the fruitier the better. That's true. Yeah. I mean, did you? I remember we talked before you went out there, Brandon. I was like, hey man, first drink. It's got to be something like super, super crazy, super fruity. What did you go for? margarita that's all i drank all week margarita i told you Same it had one. to told, be crazier no 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 absolutely not margarita God that's what it. i got right here margaret that's what i have in my little ice chest is margaritas I, i'm good i'm loaded jesus. up jesus Brandon, you're right. a man after my own heart mm. Aww, see yes he turned me out of the margarita for, for sure dude i don't I like it all tequila boy i don't i that's... don't either <laughs> you so uh, you know, I went Matt, crazy. you know what's hilarious? I really don't drink, and so it's funny that I get to finally say that now, but I think the last time I drank was at the last NXL on Sunday after we finished working, and so, yeah, now I'm going to do it again on our show and probably not drink again until the next Sunday after NXL. Yeah. <laughs> Usually yeah. what ends up happening. Well, uh, if I'm being honest, this is probably the most I've drank in, like, a long time. Dude, the 4th of July, that is, like, my Christmas. Been on a I bender, go, bro. I go crazy, right? And then <laughs> my birthday is actually tomorrow the, the day that we're recording this on the 29th tomorrow my birthday's tomorrow you know that's kind of why we did our little thing so you know feeling happy good. early birthday to hatch but if you know yeah, if you guys are out there you. listening to this on public release just send him a dm wish him happy birthday the man's happy older belated. now thank you dude i'm uh 26 years old now yes sir. feeling, to the feeling like a geezer 26. yeah you're freaking old I man yeah i remember when i was 26 yeah a year ago brando that's I'm Dude, the youngest on this show right now. That's now, crazy. Now two, huh? Now two years ago. Yeah. Now, damn. <laughs> Whew. It was his birthday on like what the twentieth, Brando? Uh, 19th, the nineteenth. 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 He, he yeah. fixed it last moment. He got I, there. I remembered because when we almost died, he told me that right before. Yeah. Which time? Yeah, a couple of them. Right yeah, before died. Right before the, you know the. I was gonna say you can't. Uh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, well, you can't just start saying these things and not tell us the story. So how did you and Brandon almost die in Hawaii? So there were so there were a couple times. Um, the shark diving that was crazy. Uh, so we went to this area. It took forever for us to find the boat. They came in. We go out, and the water is no joke rough rando it was rough take, fucking water take, take it away from here rando rough water i wasn't Damn. feeling good uh i think avon wasn't feeling good michelle wasn't feeling good got a little seasick uh, ex-girlfriend you mean it's never happened at our ex-girlfriend yeah see her and my ex-girlfriends might have to believe um, some names there brandon yeah god more editing work to do good um no matt no we're good um but Matt hasn't listened to the sick. show. That's what's going on here. They got here. sick. <laughs> they got sick and um, wasn't feeling good. But we were out there for what felt like forever trying to get forever. sharks to come up to, to the boat. We went to a couple different um, buoys to tie off on. Finally, the last one, we got there and there was three sharks out there. And I think there was a total of 11 of us. Um, okay. Yeah. We, no cage. I so cage free shark diving. Three. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, back up. I thought you guys were in a cage this whole goddamn time. No, sir. No. Wait a Hell fucking no. second. No, we sir. Free swimming with some sharks. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, and the water was so rough. It was like the wakes would happen, and you'd be like floating up. It's like, oh, there's the boat. Floating down. It's like, float back up. Oh man, the boat's so far away, and you, it would got to where it's like, it going. you had to actually start going ham in the water to get back towards the boat. 
but luckily they had a. Are you guys a good at swimming? Line. Well, I, I know Hatch is. Oh, yeah, Hatch yeah. played polo. He's he could. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's fine. We're I'm good. not worried about him. Brandon, have you ever been swimming? <laughs> Like that I've never much? been that like far out into the ocean. That was I told them afterwards. That was right on the edge of what I was comfortable with. So I got you. I, okay. I've swam See, my whole life, but never pushing limits out there. In the open ocean. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's all good. Yeah. You gotta uh, experience some of that, like you know, lifeguard going out in the open ocean trying to save everyone. That's kind of how you felt, but you were the one being the victim. It's kind of the opposite. It's ready to be eaten. Yeah, swimming. Ready and to be eaten. <laughs> Did Jesus. you have that adrenaline kick in at any point? You know, without a doubt. As soon as we jumped in, and <laughs> yep. It was like they they said, "All right, uh, just sl slide into the water. Don't jump. Don't splash." I splash. Oh, I, yeah, I didn't mean to. It's the but one I, rule, Brandon. I flopped in the water. I and swoopy just, slid. Yeah, and looked straight down, and there's a shark right beneath us. Holy shit! Yeah, we're and in it now. It, obviously, some people were. Me and Brando and Cedar, we were the kind of people where we didn't like life jackets. We were not the biggest <laughs> fans. So we were going. It's I, not great I don't advice, kids. Don't Brando, listen to that. But there was one time where I went far down, and this number sounds so amateurish, but once you start hitting like the five, seven foot mark, that's when you really start feeling the pressure. And I probably got down maybe like 12, 13 to kind of fall behind this uh what was the what were the sharks the galapagos sharks that's what they, that's what they were hmm. and so you were uh, free diving essentially basically but we had snorkels right hmm. i'm it just right doesn't really help it. when you're 13 feet down no it does not <laughs> i was i was like following the i was following I the shark and my lungs i felt like my head was going to explode my mask <laughs> sucking on my head crushing me from all angles and then i look lo lower and there's a girl, the instructor, that's even lower than me, probably twice as lower than I am, just sitting there with her arms crossed. Arms crossed, go yeah. Look, like, just spinning chilling. in a circle, looking for tiger sharks. like charts. the bouncer. She's looking She's for tiger sharks. Bouncer. That's all funny. Well, that's dope. So, so she goes down below you guys and kind of makes sure, like, all right, if the aggressive guys come in, we got to get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. She's, she was like, basically, you don't really Do have they to worry too much about it. Some of these sharks are basically domesticated. Because they see people all the time. That makes sense. Like if they go in the same like areas and stuff, I'm guessing. Or you know, the way they were wording it felt really weird because they were saying that's comforting. The, the yeah, they were, they were saying how oh, there's a new crabbing industry over here on Hawaii. So the boats come out, and so obviously when they pull up the cages, some stuff flies out, and the sharks eat it. Mm -hmm. Easy meal. So whenever they hear the boats, that's like the dinner bell to them. They just hang out. Yeah. And that's basically what she said. And they also said that they, tr some people are basically training tiger sharks to bite at the ladder. Yeah. Because people are hand feeding tiger sharks from the ladder of the boat. And that's, I guess, what they're used to now. So some tiger sharks oh, are pretty wild. I see what you're saying. Like the wild animals are kind of picking up this trade of like, well, if I go to the ladder, then I'm going to get food. Exactly. Yeah. But exactly. like now they're just eating people's shit for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was it was pretty nerve wracking, especially putting your head down and everything went just so quiet. All you could hear, the only thing you could hear was like your really loud breathing through the snorkel. Obviously, your heart. Yeah, I guess like the pressure crazy. at that point is just yeah. Dude, that sounds crazy. You guys, insane. yeah, experienced something pretty dope, I'd say. Yeah, we got a couple they, more of those, but do they chum the water at all? Do they like throw anything out, yeah, or like how do they, how do they attract the sharks in? The, uh, the company we went with, they said they throw like a mixture of like chum and I think they were throwing like cat food in or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, sounds, just they, they said they do a little bit. Yeah. And but one of the boats that they pointed off out in the distance that was doing the same thing. Um, we took their spot after they left. Yeah. They said that that boat right they were on the radio with them. That boat right now has eight sharks around them, but they're throwing like chum in the buckets, water. buckets of chum in the water. Yeah. So, I mean, is there a worry that's gonna like pull in? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. That's definitely saying how dangerous it is. Yeah, that's why they don't do buckets of chum. Well, you just guys, do a little okay. bit just to attract them. They'll do like a couple packs of sardines. You know, get the yeah. get the. So you guys researched moving. a little bit on who you went cageless shark diving with. Uh, it sounds like that was by that chance. was more like a on the spot. Yeah. Was oh, us. okay. Yeah. All right. That was a happenstance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if we had a choice, we maybe you know you would have cheaped out. 
Yeah, you would have gone sharks. Twenty five bucks less. Okay. Oh yeah, they were pretty big too. Fifteen percent more chance of dying. Yeah, it's like was it six to eight or eight to ten foot uh, yeah. sharks? Um, they, yeah, they look bigger when they're coming at you. Yeah, I would Without say so. Did and you have to punch any of them? Huge. <laughs> no, they didn't get that close. They didn't like charge us or anything. I was mm. going for them though. I was for sure going for them. <laughs> God damn it, Ash. I was in a, That would in a be how we form. lose you, right? You just you, you no, was trying to fight a shark, you. lost the battle. <laughs> That's not how we lose. I have some heart. stories, and that is not let me, of sharks of all things. That is not the way you lose me from stories from this weekend. <laughs> okay. Whew. Oh my goodness! But anyway, yeah. All right. Shark diving well, was insane. Okay, I, I mean, there's a little bit of Hawaii. We'll, we'll definitely get into more of that later. But I mean, mm. Matt, let's uh, you know catch up with you a little bit. But how how have you been? I mean, it's. You're still you're still playing D three this year, correct? You're with uh, Carolina Clutch. Clutch. Yeah, it is Clutch. Yeah, okay, it. yeah. I, I didn't want to say Crisis and be wrong, but yeah. All right, so different team, uh, new organization. Uh, you know, a little different this year. I mean, how's that been going, bro? I it's funny because I actually know exactly how it's been going, like to the point. Because if you watch his YouTube videos, you get a pretty good in depth recap. Mm -hmm. But why don't you tell him, man? <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Um, so D3 this year with Carolina Clutch. I played D4 with them the past two years. Um, it's just a big org out of uh, the Carolinas. Ryan, um, you know, cares a lot about everyone. So anyone that comes to him wanting to play, he usually ends up finding a team for him. Mm -hmm. um, and I was one of those guys that was like, hey, man, I just want to play more paintball, you know. And so eventually I got to the point now where it's like, hey, dude, I, you know, I trust you. And I know that you we have plenty of guys that want to play D3. So let's do it. Um, they played D3 last year, but I didn't play with them. So this is a year that I was like, finally get with them. Um, those guys are awesome. I love playing with them. You know, like my brother, Luke, um, just all the other people that are that are a big part of that team. Um, it's been a lot of fun, dude. We got fourth at Florida uh, and then we've taken ninth at Texas and Philly. Um, so I think we're like fifth overall in the standings right now. Um, not happy about the ninths. We weren't happy about the fourth either because we know, like, we proved to ourselves that we could compete. Now, just been pretty inconsistent with the finishings, but um, it's been fun, man. It's uh, it's kind of like this is the year that I could be the 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 uh, like one of the big brothers on the team. Not even big brothers, but just be like a leader um, by my play style and also my input. Uh, and and I don't I don't mean to like take that away from anyone else, but. Um, when you spend as much time as I do with paintball, it's, uh, it's nice to be heard sometimes when you talk. Um, yeah. and so like, yeah, previous, previously like on crisis and the other teams before that, like the eight, four, three, um, it was kind of like a collective, but there were definitely people on the team that, you know, voiced over me because they had been there longer and, um, had a little bit more knowledge than me or a little bit more, um, you know, weight that they carried. So this year it's, it's nice that I can come in and really help out a ton. I mean, in Florida, when we got fourth, people were looking at me and my brother, like, who's on the field and what are we doing and it's like mm -hmm. it's hard to it's hard to make those calls whenever you're uh you're playing every point too but uh it, it's been fun dude uh paintball has been good i'm also playing d4 with uh the clutch boys some of the blue guys so um that dude that's so much fun because we got we got steve on the team steve's like 52 um and if y'all watch my videos he's the dude with the big gray beard and the long white I like hair that guy yeah the last event yep yeah he dude he's he's amazing seems like guy. a hell of a good and, dude yeah and so him his um his stepson alex plays with us and then we have two other kids um that are they're all three in high school i think uh two of them just graduated but like it's really cool me and luke play with them we've also got like some of my friends that i can't went to college with um as well as some other guys that are new on that team and man is that just it's such a good experience to be like the big brother on the team to like <laughs> have everybody like help everyone and the, the even awesomer part about all of that is that they come to me with the hold questions up, hold up hold up awesomer awesomer part bro you're a college engineer like i uh, yeah graduate that's a word, that's okay a word my vocabulary. <laughs> exactly that's a word my vocabulary. yeah the, the 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 better part of that is that i get to be let's go <laughs> is that i get to be like i get to be that guy that gives directions but they come to me with the questions like they'll come off the field how did I get shot? You know, what can I do to not to not lose there? And it's like, dude, those are the questions you need to be asked if you want to be a good player, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, they take the criticism. They ask for criticism, which is huge because I didn't have that coming up until, like, I started getting around really big camps. So, like, the first three years of my paintball career, it was just me figuring it out. And mm -hmm. it's like, hey, dude, this is your second year ever playing paintball. And, you know, you've got people like me, people like, um, you know, Luke Austin, which played, he played for NRG for a couple of tournaments. 
but like have people like that to give feedback grow it's it's mm-hmm. so much it creates a great environment for them to grow but that's that's paintball for me dude that's amazing yeah, man. building a I, building a system like that in a camp yeah dude better. we've got we've got a a, a a fourth and a second right now in the cpxl tournament so it's been going pretty well nice nice yeah i mean i know hatch talks like that is one of his favorite parts about being you know the like quote unquote top team at capital edge is you know it's it's cool when you guys are able to get out there and you know kind of help the guys who are you know younger like i mean the dmg kids always are asking you guys for advice Mm. uh you see like the lower divisional guys um you know the dmg paint guys cody collins like shout out to him um he's always picking your guys brains so Mm -hmm. yeah i mean they're you know and, and even like to a certain kind of um you know similar side when guys ask me questions about like camera gear stuff like that it does always feel good when you're able to help provide some of that knowledge and kind of pass that on to the you know the next generation quote unquote yeah especially when it's like accurate information you know because i try to teach at least the way how i i I let people know when i'm teaching this is the way i would do it you know because sometimes not everybody's the same you know there's a reason why mouse is separate from an alex frazier you know I think but they're great in their own ways. I think that's one of the beautiful parts about paintball is it's a game kind of, you know, there there is no, it's not a solved game. Like chess, you know, if someone plays a certain opening move, then if you're a very, very high level chess player, you know, you already know exactly what you need to do to win that game. And then it's just, does that happen? Do you need to, you know, make modifications? So paintball, I mean, hell yeah, you can have a guy who, you know, plays like Alex. He's kind of you know wacky a little bit we'll go run bunker you and then run back to his bunker or, or you can have a guy like mouse who will go in there and literally just like i don't Kill know run through you. you stop looking at him you know <laughs> yeah like but both guys are equally valuable i would say like when it comes to you know having them on your team so no it's a beautiful part about this game without a doubt Love just different style guys. stylistic but yeah yeah different styles uh to play with you just got to figure figure your your zone out uh your own out and uh yeah it, it's cool giving that information uh letting them put it all out there and let them bring it all together and, and make their own style out of it especially when you see them apply what you what you just told them right especially when they ask you i like seeing the hungry you can tell who wants it the people are all that are hungry ask the questions you tell them what's up they apply it with their own little maybe spin on it then they win a point it's like oh Bro. that's how easy it is yeah and that that's like so satisfying because like like you said there's always these different play styles and you take it and you develop your own right you give them those inputs and they go and apply it and then eventually that makes their own style and like that is so satisfying to see because you've gone through that right like you have been through that that process of like you you look at yourself playing you're like i don't feel like i play like anybody else in paintball Mm -hmm. and you realize when you look at it that nobody plays like anybody else in paintball and it's yep. literally all from taking those inputs, applying them, and then, like Brandon said, developing your own style from it, dude. And it's so satisfying to not only watch yourself progress, but watch other people around you progress and take those little nuggets that you've given them and, you know, become their own player. Yeah. It's rewarding. But, yeah. I mean, what are the, you know, I kind of think of, like, you know, even from a size perspective, you know, like, if I try to play the way you play the game, Matt, it's just not going to work. And the reason being is, unfortunately, I'm six inches taller than you. So it's like, that's probably not gonna you know i'm not gonna fit into shit as well but at the same time yeah yeah unfortunately you know for you um but (laughs) no so i should stand in the back in a tall tower and i should yell my head off so that way you heat seeking missile can go and stab people you know like you gotta play off your strengths of that yeah Yeah. we have clips of that (laughs) yeah bro i mean shout out when we played at uh texas last year but um yeah no i mean it's it is the cool part with paintball it's it's a chess-like game but it's also it's not solved. There is no correct solution. It's, you know, you, you got to figure out what's going to work for you, but also what's going to work against that team because every team's going to be different as well. Literally, you, it's it's basically paintball is like a game of chess, but the, each chess piece has superpowers. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep, you <laughs> gotta keep Brown. Yeah, there's a different yeah. chess board every time. It, too. Well, yeah, it's like yes, a game of chess, valid. but there's five queens. You know, yeah. like it's it's like all oh, players true. can destroy all like players that. at any point. It's, so it's you yeah. always have to kind of be, you know, keeping your uh, your P's and Q's in order. Um, I like what Matt said with the whole changing of the chessboard, right? That, very true. That mm-hmm. changes that every event is different. Yeah, no, I, like I, I didn't hear about that. That That is a great point. You know, I mean, just the simple fact that the playing ground is going to be completely different every four months or, you know, three months or whatever. Right. I mean, we've had the long break right now, but usually it's shorter. 
now every now every option is different you know especially with the board different being mm -hmm. different well yeah man <sighs> but okay people. so you're playing with clutch you're uh you know having a good year in that i think you are sandbagging though at times with some of these clips that you post bro god damn you sandbag as long as you name as long as you can brandon's Do our it. fellow sandbagger here on the show <laughs> i miss oh, it man. Bro's yeah, playing I mean, semi-pro now and three years ago was playing a d5 d4 event or d5 both we were doing <laughs> both. three years ago yeah, yeah, nice. what a beast wait no that was 2021 so whatever that time conversion is it's it's incalculable at the current moment but yeah man so all right you're you're figuring that out i mean what's going on in you know matt's life i mean we we haven't had you on here for for a bit so i don't know what's uh how's 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 it going over there in carolina dude i i've been blessed man to be honest like i you know work is work and i feel like you know all, all of us have you know like jobs outside of paintball um but uh i've been a little bit slow with just like my passion for paint, paintball lately um but I, it's kind of firing back up you know it, you spend as much time as i do like trying to be better and editing and watching paintball all the time is that eventually you, you need a break and so um i think i got that out of out of my system and now i'm just ready to go back and kick butt but uh youtube's been going well uh it seems like um, the algorithm's mm -hmm. always grabbing something and throwing it out there so i think we're almost at 200k subs on there uh, which is, <laughs> yeah it's it's a yeah. blessing man it's a blessing um but i mean that sub count uh doesn't mean much to me um there's always bigger things you know and i'm always going for the next thing um so yeah youtube's been going well i'm, I'm loving putting out the videos a little bit slow on that just because of my free time now um but i'm almost done with the next video i'm looking forward to putting it out so that's the ether 3 video it should be up by the time this goes out so uh everybody will get to enjoy that um but besides that awesome, man, man like besides that like getting the merch out we're gonna have the merch coming out this is the the last shirt that i kind of teased Ooh. Um, Yep, but, uh, I remember you talking about the Oni design way back yeah, um, when we had you on last. Yeah, Another deposit. Yeah, so, so I'm finally, we got it all together. We got it up on a, on a website. And um, now I just got to put the, the videos together and get it pushed out. And I'm really excited for that. I think that, um, you know, this will be my first actual merch shop everywhere. Like anyone can buy it. And so Where do we uh, find I'm really that excited. Um, so I don't have the, the website yet. Shit. Well, so it's not live it. just gonna, yet. Gonna, we're still teasing. Yeah, we're still teasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unlike yeah, our merch there. drop, which will be later in the show, which will be live when the show goes live. Mm, but yes, sir. teasing you guys about that. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so you know, stay stay on the lookout. Check out on the socials, Matt the Gym Rat everywhere. You know, keep your mm -hmm. eyes out. That that shirt is fire. I do like it. The the Oni design yeah, I'm on there. Excited to put it out. I'm an Oni guy, bro. I don't know what it is. Austin Oni. Oni. That's true. Oni Claw. You know what I'm saying? Valorant. Oni. Vandal. That's actually a great ass point, is, dude. Oh wait, you're you're piecing dots together. Last year, you're gonna have to answer for this because I'm pretty sure we had Matt on the show and he talked about Oni before Austin Oni was a team. So who mm. who was first with the idea? We're gonna have to. If you're a Patreon member, maybe you'll be able to see that discussion in the uh, comments on this that version of the show. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's it's I, I, I yeah, like you said, Hatch. It's cool design. I mean, Valorant uses it. Everyone Sick, likes dude. it. Like you know, I think Austin or uh, Austin. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. I was thinking of uh fucking the city, but um, when you show me you had the uh the stickers, the Oni stickers over there, yeah, dude, I was like, bro, these are fire. Like that was you know kind of the first time I saw that uh, idea flushed out, and yeah, man, no, I, I love it. Dope, dope merch. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited, dude. Um, and then you know after that, dude, uh, got a new thing with Field One, so this is the first time I'll be uh, dropping that. So uh, I'm I'm now working with Field One till the end of the paintball season. So I'm a Field One athlete. I was shooting the force. Uh, we got a video coming of that soon. So big shout out go. to Alex Yosh and Ryan over there at Field One and everybody else that makes it happen. It was really cool. Um, they made it super easy. And now uh, I'll be shooting that for the rest of the year. And I'm looking forward to making that video. I think that's another thing that really helped me kind of give me the itch to go back out and uh, start playing. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, besides that, your boy, your boy got uh, cuffed up. We got a girlfriend now. So, oh! Uh, that's, oh uh, damn yeah, so, i'm pretty so, sure i saw it on instagram gotta give him the applause yeah. let's go let's go yeah so uh, our man oh, found love yeah. in a lonely place <laughs> yeah it's dude it's been seven years since i had a girlfriend so i'm like might as well uh you know she treated me good enough and i was like all right let's do it so uh but yeah <laughs> let's go bro Congratulations, let's go king 
Well, congrats, bro. I mean, that's, I was going to say, we had a pretty big worldwide exclusive, but I mean, you know, let's talk about the girlfriend first, obviously. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, But, you know, field one, I mean, that's, that's awesome. (laughs) God damn it. She's going to listen to this too. She's going to be like, "Mm -hmm." oh shit. All right. We're all screwed. Um, But no, I mean, so how did the field one thing come around? I mean, that was, I feel like that's pretty exciting news. I mean, Jopin, you're now kind of, you're sponsored to shoot a gun for the rest of the year. So what, what was that process, man? Yeah, dude. I mean, uh, Alex is a big, uh, Alex watches the videos. Um, so, um, that means a lot to me. First off, it was so cool to hear him and Tom Cole talk about how much they like my videos at, uh, at, uh, Philly. They were like both arguing about how much they liked my videos. And I was like <laughs> standing there in between them, like, uh, oh, <laughs> like, oh, oh, thanks guys. Alex crazy. You're talking about how much they like my videos. And so I was like, Alex, you know, um, I'd love to do a video on the force. I feel like I already had a good, um, you know, like plan for the gun. It's a fairly, um, a fairly, uh, low, I guess, uh, if you don't play tournament paintball, you don't really know about it too much. Um, yeah. so, it's not marketed so it's as the, heavily as like planted eclipse yeah. markers and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I was like, it'd be easy to like create a lot of mystery behind this. Um, the fact that dynasty has won so many tournaments with it is another way to, you know, create That's a great storyline for YouTube. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and so, like, for sure. Yeah. And it's, it's so, <laughs> The gun, the gun is made for the hardcore player, right? Like it's made for someone who picks up your gun and shoots it every weekend and does not care to clean it. Um, it's made for people who just want it to shoot paint out of your gun. Um, so that, that that's like that's what it's always been marketed for. So I feel like I have a ton of talking points, um, and so I'm gonna make a video on it the next CPXL because when I play in the the local leagues, usually I have better clips. Um, just because it's uh, the plane, you D4 get to and... sandbag a little more. That's yeah. so it's all going back to the sandbagging. Saying, yeah. We got it. Him. God damn it! Yeah. Give me that clip again. <laughs> I get, I get to play the back right, so I get to uh, you know close out points and um, play the back yeah. until you're in there 50, 30 seconds later. Like guys, for, what's yeah, going on? And then just kills everybody. <laughs> but I'm just not. I'm not risking my body through lanes as much, so I definitely have like uh, more survivability. You know, more yeah. time behind the gun, which will make it for a better videos um it will be there um so that's always you know a plus uh so putting all that together is a good thing and then um uh yeah i mean after that you know i'm gonna shoot it till the end of the year and then uh, we'll talk about it but yeah alex was super receptive because he watches the videos he likes them and he was like yeah dude let's do it um you know we worked it out and so i'll be shooting that for us until the end of the year which i am perfectly fine with because my gun is five years old and has half a million shots on it that's cs2 and that's the only gun i have perfect there you relatable. go that worked out that, that's a little dude, relatable dude people think that i have like so many guns it's like y'all don't understand that i borrow all of these like all these <laughs> videos that i do guns yeah. on i borrowed all of them they're like oh what do you think about it compared to all your other guns and i was like what other guns <laughs> i was like, like I man i own gun. one marker that's it yeah. okay <laughs> i mean I, ha- I have a 3m but i can only use that what like three times a year so it's like <laughs> yeah it's like, like to... icpl and maybe if you go to like a mech x or something yeah exactly and so it's like i'm dude i've been shooting that cs2 for since jesus died Jesus, Relatable, that was, that was a long I, time ago. I think, I, was, I think we got ours at the same time. No joke. Probably, uh, dude. I've yeah, had mine for a the long CS2 time. really was a workhorse, man. I mean, Bro, I shit. Agree. You take care of personally, it, it'll go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, personally, my personal favorite from what I've shot so far, for sure. Oh, reliable, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, all right. I mean, it's exciting, Matt. You dropped some world exclusive info on us, so I appreciate Damn, that. I'm puffed up, bro. But uh, yeah, no, that's totally what I was talking about. Again, back to the girlfriend, because that's what people care about more. You know, welcome <laughs> to the wild, TMZ bro. generation of uh, media. But uh, <laughs> no, man. I mean, you know, congratulations to you for kind of getting some of that stuff done. You've always been killing it on the YouTube side. Uh, you know, we I think we first met at World Cup 2021. That was like the first time I feel like we kind of put face to face. Yeah. um and so you know it's been cool bro bro because your numbers were a lot smaller back then and i was like oh yeah guys he's making cool shit pay attention to matt he's making cool shit and now everyone's like oh matt you make cool shit and i'm like i fucking told you <laughs> god damn it so Dude, no man yeah. i mean yeah i've always appreciated the stuff you've done uh you brought up will there i wanted to give a shout out to will uh mosley uh just i appreciate him 40 media he's a great guy uh he's been on I the show you, a couple will. times um brandon was saying before the show that you're our first three-time guest um so you were also our first guest ever so there's a lot of storylines coming to ga- together tonight i was your first guest ever you, you were, were the first guest ever on the show the orion's belt of, of guests just lining tonight, everything right? up man damn. but i will say out of my place tonight it's like damn. hell yeah there we go 
I, well, just Jeez, to finish that thought one. up, I was going to say, uh, and Will will probably be our third. He's one of our favorite guests on the show. We always enjoy having him on. Um, but mm. yeah, man, I mean, appreciate what you guys have been doing over there. Also, shout out, I haven't actually, I think I met him like once at an event, but uh, Acid Dad, uh, Alex yep. over there, dude, those tie dye shirts he was doing, those are fire. I love those. Got to copy one mm. of those at some point in time. But, uh, Me too. but yeah, man, you're killing it. YouTube star. I'm fun, dude. God, bro. You're famous, bro. I have said that. Mm. I get some horns. Uh, I get some horns. He's famous. He's famous. <laughs> it's it, it's cool, man. Like I've always like, dude. Like y'all don't know how much I looked up to like you, Ryan. I looked up to Dylan. I looked up to uh, Matt from from Solus. Like I've looked up to everyone coming up, right? Like everyone that did videos. And um, I don't want to I don't want to say like I'm blessed because y'all understand. Like it's not it's not a by chance that you you know get big. It's usually yeah. like consistency. Um, you put some type of effort into it, some type of studying, and you realize like what makes good clips. Um, so I, I mean, want to say like quick, quick sidebar lucky. on that. Like my greatest saying about that is, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Not you know, you gotta have the right stuff lined up for when that moment comes. That you know, that reel that gets forty thousand subscribers and gets your videos out there. Well, is your video ready to go out there? So, but continue, please. Yeah, man, and I mean like I had in 2021 you know in 2022 i had the the highest viewed paintball video on tiktok um and now my the real of me sliding on youtube is the most viewed paintball video on youtube so it's like it's been pretty uh, a big blessing to just like have all that stuff happen and um you know i wouldn't be able to make it happen if it wasn't people out there filming me and if it wasn't uh you know me willing to sit down and put the time in to, to do that work so it's it's always it's always coordination but yeah like you said preparation you know meets opportunity and um just staying consistent man people ask me all the time like how do you get how did you get all those subscribers and i was like bro you don't look at the subscribers ever i was like i have never you just celebrated make a video every day or every week or whatever your thing is and then every you just fucking yeah time. and then you wake up one morning and you're like God, where did those two years of my life go? <laughs> <laughs> they were spent right here editing, dude. Y'all see me right here? This mm -hmm. is what I was doing all day today, nice. <laughs> sitting right here. Well, okay, that's kind so of. That's... Well, go I was ahead, just going to say ahead. that's one of the things I love about the podcast is I feel like this is you know with anyone's podcast is it documents really when they're consistent with it weekly, kind of documents their life in a way. It's like you know it's kind of a check in every week of where you were at of you know what were you doing, how were you feeling, all that shit. So. It's kind of a it's it's a cool medium to be able to come together. There's been so many new paintball podcasts I've seen recently, so I wanted to give a shout so out to many. all those guys starting those up, trying to you know, feel this stuff out. I will say this: don't we stop. No, 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 don't stop. I'm talking to you guys right now. Don't stop. That's what every podcast platform does. You start, you do maybe five, ten episodes. You realize there's only going to be twenty, forty. Hey, if you're lucky, yeah, you may get a couple hundred people listening. That's all it's going to be. You got to consistently go out there and show people, hey, we have something to show you. We have something to show you. People are going to start coming in. So I appreciate Put all you guys out there who are, you know, trying to make some new content. All I, my advice, don't stop. Keep it going because eventually you get to that point where people are like, all right, I got to pay attention. Like they, they're consistent every week. They're making new content. Why are they doing that? It's great to see, honestly. <laughs> So yeah, Keep no, that's, that's that's my little part about yeah podcast content stuff like that. Um, it's great to see. Yeah, no, it's awesome, and I mean I love all the kind of community stuff we have going on in paintball. Shout out Puka Gang, we got three members what of it up? here in Matt. person. Sold our Matt. soul. <laughs> what the hell? We need you to get Puka shells, bro. I'm not a sponsored Puka player. We need you not, to be a not yet. Yeah, you Dan, you gotta hit him up, bro. Yeah, we'll work out a deal. Hit up my uh, manager. <laughs> hit up will yeah you can contact my yeah. people They'll yeah talk to your people it's like my yeah. email address we'll get will some puka <laughs> shells too we need, we need will on that train will will yeah. get some puka shells man yeah, oh, yeah man the tie-dye shirts oh that's a look yeah. that's a vibe Ooh, damn that's uh -huh. like nowadays with the early 2000s puka shell look mm -hmm. dude the hybrid the blending of culture damn the blending of culture the cultural damn, appropriation dude. you would say the conjunction of the spheres <laughs> okay well uh but yeah man i mean so guys i mean like how's why uh you know we've had yeah, kind of chilling it. out for a bit we, we caught up with matt so what's what's going on what's uh what's been up 
dude. I don't know if I'm a little bit. I don't what know if I'm a tan, dude. But look, look I, I, don't have, say, I don't have a tan line anymore. I don't have a crazy tan line anymore. So it looks like you know Brandon just has another white shirt under his white shirt. Oh, <laughs> hey, kind hey, of. It's, yeah. It's cream. Look. It's a cream color. <laughs> it's, it wasn't. It, it was way worse at the beginning. So. It was. <laughs> yeah, Michelle showed me on a way back little home. Sun. She showed me. She goes, "This is the first day." I was like, "Oh, sh fuck! All right, that's bad." And she goes, "This is the last day." I'm like, "Okay, all right, we made some progress. Getting better, yeah." yeah. yeah I mean, bad. you stay uh, inside all day for work, anyways, so it's not like you ever I see do. the sun, really. No, it's just this that sees Scrubbed the sun. In. That's yeah, it. and that's true. Oh, the, Even the at the field, it's the clava face. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Relatable, dude. I'm the same. Gotta way. have you shiesty up, bro. Should have. I really wish we took a picture of your your arm pad um, tan. Oh, dude. So okay, I don't wear gloves when I play, right? And you guys obviously I know get the, the same California thing. heat yep. is blazing. So I had like a tan line that was like perfectly around. Can't even see it anymore. Can't even see it anymore. I had I had no joke. Two brown thumbs. I've definitely oh. had that where like you can see after an event where like the arm pad stops and like then goes in and like oh yeah, it's uh yep. it's a bad one. My my ankle tan is almost cured. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Brando, back me up. This requires a week in Hawaii to care. <laughs> it yeah. requires a week in Hawaii to come close. <laughs> Honestly. To even get caught but, up. All right. Well, so, sick. I don't know if you guys. I don't know if you guys see that picture that I just put up in our little call, but you know, your boy was living luxury that week. You know. <laughs> okay. okay. That was that yeah, was day dude. that was day one. Yeah, you're on the catamaran just chilling, huh? Yeah, it was. Uh... <laughs> so the whole story. This this is the getting on the boat. We get there, me and Cedar are like scanning the dock, like, oh, dude, look, there's a fish. Oh, look, there's a crab. And we're like slowly going down the dock. We, us doing that, we cut the whole line on accident. And so we got the best seats on the Jesus boat Christ on accident. Because we were just like, oh, dude, fish, fish. On oh, accident. Look. And we just kept moseying all the way to the front somehow. And she's like, the lady's like, oh, what's your name? They're like, oh, uh, party for Michelle, right? And uh, they let us on the so boat. So essentially, ha uh, Cedar's like ADHD shiny motivation that we've all hated <laughs> in Minecraft got you guys on the boat first. Low key, yeah. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. Well, hey, that's a W. Couple I take that. And so. hey, that was not the first time we that it got us to cut a line uh, during the no. week. Not Did you guys all. not respect cues? Like what? I don't know. What's... <laughs> we didn't know where the line started. Oh, most of the time. <laughs> and yeah. candy. Somehow we end up in the front, and no one says anything. So <laughs> no one says because yeah, everyone's mahalo. You know, it's supposed yeah. to be chill. Man, you guys are taking advantage one, of that. One thing with that with that like little booze cruise we went on. Uh, I will say special shout out to Liquid IV for saving my life. The second I jumped <laughs> in the ocean, the that water touched my lips. I was like. <gasps> And no, I was dehydrated in a second. I'm not even shitting you. It was the and water, plus you're probably drinking too. So it was just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing so left. I, I was instantly like, oh my God, I need some water. water. Yeah. I look like SpongeBob. Water. You know, no, that, that drink, no joke, I looks like booze in my it. hand, but it's actually water because I needed it that bad. So, truth be told about that photo, call me a phony, whatever. Nice. But, nice. <laughs> dude, then we went parasailing. That was yeah, this wild. one this one's crazy to me because if you guys have been listening to the show for a while you'll know that hatch has a fear of roller coasters like i've never seen before listen back to some of our episodes around the world cup last year when hatch was forced to go on one with all the team this man I think literally it was the first florida i think it was the first florida event this was year the first florida okay yeah so it wasn't so. World Cup. but Sunshine this man safe. had a breakdown like was crying freaking yeah, out before he went on this so bad so oh how in God. the f did brando and cedar and the ex-girlfriends convince you to parasail well i was like you know what <laughs> this whole weekend i was trying so many new things brando back me up he did he did he he was like it's, I'm on, it's vacation let's try new that's things every day that's my guy yes so every meal i tried something different every meal i tried let's something go. Different. let's go hatch so that's Paris, awesome parasailing that was way different i was like Oh my god! Because they let you go, they let you go out, and uh, I wasn't the I wasn't the last to go. Brando and Michelle were the last ones to go, but I was uh, on Second the last, pair, yeah. I was on the glider with uh, Yvonne and Cedar, and man, it's like they take you off your feet like in like a single second, <laughs> take you off your feet. It just goes, and, and you're going higher and higher and higher, and no joke, the only thing I could think of was the intro to Jurassic Park 3. Like, <laughs> you guys know, know what I'm talking about? Where dun, it's, dun. They go, they're, like parasail, they're parasailing, the boat's down there, the boat's like thrashing, the, the line's like going crazy for a second, and they're like, oh my God, what's going on? 
Then all of a sudden the clouds clear, dead. They're dead on the dead. boat. I was, I was like, oh my God, please tell me they're not dead on the boat. God damn and it. They just, kept, they just kept going higher and higher and higher. Uh, okay well so hatch now imagine you with that same wing over your head and a lawnmower mm -hmm. engine with a propeller strapped to your back does that sound like we fun we were talking about that we were talking I about knew Brandon we that's people. my guy we did <laughs> saw some, some guys yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah, some yeah. paramotorists out there yeah were yeah, they doing yeah, the acro day. or no they weren't that cool oh they're <laughs> pussies um <laughs> no those are all tourists those we're are already demonetized on youtube all right we're just sending it those are the people who are all scared you know all the tourists and that's all who really is out there. You, every once in a while, you'll see an instructor go crazy, right? But other than that, everybody else is tourists, just like us. Makes sense. Weenies. Makes sense. Yeah, no, paramotoring is insane. Um, it's literally the art of flying into of the sky with like a wing, which I mean like a parachute essentially that's over your head yeah. and literally a lawnmower engine on your back. It's, I don't know, there's crazy <laughs> people who do crazy shit in this world. Rich Dude, people. Sounds ridiculous. Rich people, so essentially. <laughs> from being so high. How high were we up, Brando? Was that like it 500 was... feet or something like that? No, I thought it was like <laughs> Matt's seven... face. If you're not watching the video, go check oh, out no, Matt's face it, when he said that. It, it wasn't that low. It was like seven, 785, something like that. Dude, we were so high in the air. It was incredible. Oh, my God. And it's like, and it's like, I, oh, my God. The, hard, the scary part was like, okay, once, you get, once you're up there, you're like, okay, not bad, not bad. And then you're any, stable, kind at of least. any kind of jiggle in the wire, you're like, you what the fuck? Like, you are grabbing it and you are just like rotating around. And it's like, <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! So it, it was for me, it was low key terrifying. And I, and I was like, man, how funny would it be if I was like, because they dunk you at the end, right? They'll bring you close to the water, dunk you in the water, accelerate, bring you back up in the air, and pull you in, right? So a little, little cool like, down okay. as you go in. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it was, dude. There were some times where it was hot and we we drop in but me and cedar the entire time before we go we're like man how can we i wonder if we have time to pee while we're like <laughs> dunked in the water i'm gonna guess no you know? that's my guess but we'll see where this goes we were because the people in front of us they got dunked for a single second there was a kid this other family <laughs> it doesn't sound like long enough. they were not enjoying it they were not <laughs> enjoying it the uh the other group they were half of them were throw uppers mm-hmm they were all leaning over the boat and i'm like bro you got you i thought i was a pussy but was know, it that, was it that, that motion sick or it was just seasick no it wasn't it was that so, rough we were going pretty fast anything. we were going pretty fast sometimes and okay. like pretty fast i mean like i was like how fast are we going they're like uh 25 miles an hour i'm like damn that's like nothing <laughs> well but I on the water, like, have you lot. ever Especially yeah i was going to say on the water it's a lot plus like if you ever like uh I think of like driving like ATVs at my grandpa's farm. Like mm -hmm. you, feel, you're going twenty, and you, you feel, feel so like fast. you're going fucking forty or some shit. Like because yeah. the wind's Especially hitting you, the and yeah, you're just like, oh my god. Yeah, and it felt so fast, even though it was only twenty five, because the yeah. wind was hitting us. You know, <sighs> parasailing. That was that was a unique you survived, experience, bro. Definitely very I, scary. Like, so you didn't have a breakdown or anything? Uh, I kept it hidden way more. I'm proud For of you. Sure. I'm proud of you, buddy. That's Thank awesome. You, man. It feel, That's good. It feels good. When I when we got back, it felt good to you know have my feet planted on the ground. Then I realized, damn, we got three more days of this bullshit. <laughs> so motherfuckers, like I just want to be in Fresno, man. I want to go home. Give me back to the to the bat wing ball sack heat, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, was it nice in Hawaii? Like heat was? Was dude, it, was it, it bad was out there? Beautiful. It was beautiful. Oh, I'm and, fucking uh, jealous. So it's been this miserable. Is, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I need you guys to strap in for this next part. I guess I need you guys to strap. Why are we in. strapping in? All right, we're going. We're going there. I, I did some. I did a research paper while we were there. Well, here. So you know what we're gonna do, Hatch? What's up? What's up? We're gonna come back to this story because okay. I gotta go to it's, ads. It's, it's about one. that it's time. So perfect, perfect. Strap on in, podcast people, because we'll get back to that in just a second here. But I do perfect. have to talk about our advertisers so we make them happy because we appreciate them and they're great and they support us. Uh, so yeah, li Liquid IV. Uh, hey, ad number one. Uh, appreciate you guys, uh, you know, coming on to the show. They've been with us pretty much since the beginning. They're one of the first sponsors that have, uh, you know, helped the show out, kind of made it a little bit easier for us to come on the air and give you guys this weekly content. Um, Liquid IV, if you don't know, it's a hydration supplement. So it's 
it's gonna help you out get hydrated you know think of your your gatorade your sport drinks stuff like that it's got three times the electrolytes of most of those it's got vitamins b3 b5 b6 b12 and vitamin c uh and hey now they even have sugar-free flavors i've actually been kind of testing those out recently um they're good i mean i really actually like i i enjoy them uh you know i would say the flavor profile seems a little more muted uh like versus the sugar lemon lime versus the sugar-free Honestly, it does taste the same, just maybe like a, a little more diluted version. Uh, one of the good things about the sugar-free is they use allulose, which is a, a pretty good sweetener, so it won't spike blood sugar levels if you have, um, you know, diabetes or something like that, or if you're just, you know, conscious of how much uh, sugar you're intaking. Higher human. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. But uh, no, so uh, Liquid IV, they have, uh, you know, a whole bunch of great flavors. In the sugar-free one, they have uh, their Concord grape, their white peach, and, and lemon lime. Uh, in the sugar version, they've got the lemon lime right at, like I have here, and then as well as guava, watermelon, passion fruit, strawberry, pina colada, golden cherry, acai. I mean, they've got the works. There's acai. a whole bunch of great flavors. Damn. There is an acai over there. Uh, but yeah, they've got all the great flavors. So you got to go check those out at liquidiv.com. If you use code, if you use code mafia underscore Moffitt, uh, that's going to get you 20% off and free shipping. So one more time, that was code mafia underscore Moffitt. Uh, same as my Instagram handle. It's going to get you the 20% off over there. So yeah, appreciate them. Head over to Liquid IV and let them, let them know that, uh, yeah, you're, uh, we're thankful for their support. That's what we'll say. Mm. All right. Nectar Energy, last but definitely not least for tonight, we've got the boys over at Nectar, N-E-C-T-R, trying to get that lined up there. Uh, yeah, we've got the two flavors, Ice Mango, Fresh Mint. Um, they're great. I enjoy them. Uh, Nectar is a, uh, here, let me grab one out for you guys. It's a little energy pouch. So if you've seen products like Zin or, you know, maybe a tobacco pouch, it's going to be reminiscent to that. But the big difference is there is no nicotine. There is no tobacco. It is uh, kind of clean from those type of products. The only things in here are caffeine. Um, and then there is a uh, neurotropic in there as well. That is, uh, Cognizine, I think. Yeah. Cognizine, pseudocholine, something like that. I'm not great with my scientific words. That's why we have Brandon. He's the surgical tech. But uh, yeah, guy. they they've got great flavors. They've got uh, you know some uh, awesome kind of pick me up, but they don't have that same type of crash because they're not overly loaded with like sugar or anything like that. So you can go check them out at any C T R. That's Nectar dot energy slash Mafia Productions. Um, and like I said in the intro, that's going to be a buy three get two. So sorry. Buy two, get one free. So you, you're getting three, but you're paying for two. That's what I meant to say. Uh, you're going to get free shipping on that as well. So that is, it's going to show up to your house ni nice and great. Uh, but yeah, thanks to our sponsors for tonight. We appreciate them and Liquid IV. Uh, and I think we are actually going to go ahead and do this giveaway for the headband real quick. So nice. we will be right back with that as uh, I just got to change over the scene. So give us one second. Sweetness. So we're going to go. We're oh. going to jump right back into this. We've got our Nick Laval Love All headband. It's going to be going away to someone. And it can be Matt. He was just saying there, what if it's me? So we'll, we'll see if it is. Uh, the way we do these, you know, like always, guys, we have done in the past, we use Google's random number generator. So for the first button hit, this is going to be the amount of times that I hit the generator on the next go around. So we'll see. So three. So now I'm going to put one to 20. That's how many entries we have. And then we are going to see what ends up happening here. So one to 20, one, two, and three. Let's see what it ends up at. It's going to be number 13. Let's see who that is. Oh my gosh. There's no freaking way. Is it Matt the Matt? No, it's Dan Shelley. Shell the photos <laughs> no is getting oh, a man. Nick Laval Laval Dan headband. This Dan is what happens when you signed up, guys. Uh, he, he got signed up recently. And yeah, so he's going to pull it now. As you guys see here, number 13 Damn. is what's pulled. And that lines up to Dan on the Puka spreadsheet. Power. So Puka, Puka Power, Power got it done for our man. Uh, we're gonna Power is Puka, dude. We're gonna jump back over to the podcast and we'll see you guys in just a second. So yeah, guys, I actually forgot. Uh, we said earlier in the show we're gonna give away some nectar. So I'm gonna spin this a couple more times. We got all the Patreons still listed up here, um, as you guys see on the screen. So let's go ahead. Uh, number two. Let's see who that is. It's gonna be Dave Morgan. He's gonna be picking up some nectar energy. So Damn, good for you, Dave. Time. Dude, he's on the he's on the hot roll right now. He's on he the hot the streak. Scintilla. Let's give another one as well. We got number nine. Number nine's Ryan Doss. All right. So there we go. Man nice. who maybe could use himself some extra energy. So uh, let me write those names down. And then we're going to go one more as well. Let's 
see who's going to be our last member for some nectar energy this month. It's going to be number 17, Blake Clarkson. Hey, there we go. One of our newer Patreons got in there. Appreciate you joining nice. up, bud. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, you know some nectar energy going to be going out. We appreciate them for their support. And uh, all right, we'll get back into the show now. I'm sorry, guys. I, I forgot about that. All right. Thank you. Uh, thanks for your patience. I'll see you soon. Welcome back into the podcast. We're going to jump back into the show. And Hatch, you left us on a little bit of a cliffhanger there. So what's, what's going right. on, buddy? What was what so, happened in Hawaii? Let me tell you, man, depending on how strong you are mentally and spiritually is really kind of how you survive in Hawaii, especially when you're okay. just as adventurous as myself and Brando. Mostly me, because... What did you guys run into? Oh, what man. The fuck? So, I was talking to some locals about a local... What would you say, Brando? Folklore? Or local yeah. legend? Local Le legend. mythology? Like legend. Mythology mm -hmm. of the people of the island? And so, Matt, you're ready to look this one up. Okay. You ever heard of this thing called Night Marchers? Night Marchers? Night yes. Marchers. I've not heard of this either. Hmm. So this shit it's very white of me, I know. No, here we go. Strap in. What what so whew, I'm getting shaky even thinking about this. Basically, I took a every single local I came in contact with. Not obviously not like walking around when we're but like whenever we would go walk up to a cashier, whenever we'd walk up to anybody, I would say, Hey, have you ever heard of the night marchers? And every single one has heard of it except for one the guy that like just moved there and uh man the stories so i was getting a common from the locals, theory okay very common thing so they are these hawaiian warriors that would guard the king back in the day so from what i was being told and this place the what was it called brando the peak oh fuck the lookout yeah, um the lookout so it's called it's called lookout and I can't pronounce the the exact place. It's it's a lot of letters. Okay, a lot of letters place. So, so yeah, it's one of those like a lot of K's and L's and places, and you're like, yep. I, how do you say a that, lot man? Of I's, stuff like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. We so, need Nico to pronounce it. All right. Basically, this peak was almost a massacre, if you will. They were pushing these people off this cliff to where eventually they basically had to kill themselves and. Oh my god, I'm demonetized. Fuck! Oh, I said the word, I said the word. Unalive themselves, damn it. <laughs> We're already <laughs> done. <laughs> but, continue, uh, please. So, they basically jumped to their deaths. And so these night marchers, the legend is, ar around the woods, they would, you would hear drums, like, boom, 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 drums, right? War and drums, that was yeah. Them. And that was their war drums going through the woods. And you would see uh, torches being carried through the through the woods. You would see them crossing through the mountains. So this is like the tales of like what people would see. Like that's yes. what, okay. We got a lot, I got a lot of stories. And I, hmm. how many people would you say I asked, Brando, 50? Uh, I, it was. A lot. It was like 20, maybe. What the heck? Yeah. Don't give me. Uh, get, <laughs> now I'm pissed. Being realistic. I was asking. He must have not been around for everybody, dude. Mate, I was asking I everybody. Also, Brandon, I... take everyone off the Wi Fi. Let's go. Yeah, bro. We'll clean up the house. Something's going on. Motherfuckers. But. <laughs> Your anyway, delayed reaction, so I was, bro. I was asking all these locals about the night marchers. And so the legend is if you get spotted by them or you run into them, you're supposed. I heard a lot of things, but the most common one was. You lay down face down. You take off, you rip off all your clothes. So you get naked. You, you lay down flat on the ground, dick down, and you let them pass. Because if you look them in the eye, if they, if you look them in the eye, they do this chant where it's like, Oi! or some shit like that, right? And that means, yeah. Uh, it let means, him be pierced. Yep, let him be pierced. So it's like, what the fuck? So. I think it was Wednesday. We go on this hike in the jungle. And it gets pretty treacherous sometimes. Very slippery. There were times where we're almost boulder climbing, right? Getting yeah, our literally. full body weight, pushing our body weights up, climbing these boulders. And we are scissoring through the jungle in this bamboo forest. That's the times... adjective you used out of all of them. <laughs> scissoring? That's the one you used? Of course. Okay. Continue. Slice through. And... 
so we get to the we get towards the end and it's a insane waterfall crazy waterfall you we were looking up and if the way the light was reflecting off the mountain you could see every single individual droplet coming off of this waterfall Mm -hmm. right down on you and it was just perfectly breathtaking view me and brando got some pretty sick photos together you know what i'm saying um coming soon we had a GoPro coming soon to a theater for, near you yeah we mm-hmm. had a gopro going pretty good oh so there was the the time where we ran into the dogs so wait okay i'm confused you told us about the whole night marchers yep, thing yep, yep, i'm getting there and then, getting there, okay getting okay there. okay so the so the the hike we're getting on is very important very very important okay so we're get we're, we're climbing up this hike and we come across these dogs they're off leash right so i guess any normal person would think they're wild dogs right one of the ex-girlfriends lets out this goddamn shriek, bro, that obviously we're on vacation, so I'm fucked up the whole time. <laughs> Sobered me up in a single second. And I'm like, whoa. Battle stands ready. <laughs> right? Battle stand. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I look ahead and I see these dogs roaming around. They're just chilling, and then their owner comes behind. And I I was like ready for battle. So I, I thought it was the night marchers. So um the thing is around okay. about this trail this this hike no they're ready for this the hike we didn't know this at the time that's the tr- that's the ground that the night marchers go on mm, okay right so, so that's night, like the that's trail they, they take out. yeah yep and so th- well we were going around during the day but it got to the point to where there was so much foliage around that dude it got dark they got very really dark. dark and we probably uh, we were probably getting out as it's turning nighttime, like sunset. Mm-hmm. And me and Brando, <laughs> shit, you're not. Me and Brando were kind of, you know, sticking back a little bit. I'm asking him philosophical questions, you know, some good would you rather's, right? Um, and then all of a sudden, we looked, we looked to the left, and then there is this path of straight. Darkness. Just a trail of dicks. Wait, what? You know, yeah. straight, <laughs> d- straight darkness, dude. And me and Brandon were like, "Man, that place over there looks wild." So we take a step, maybe like ten more steps. Then all of a sudden, we hear a fucking crazy ass rattling, going like insane. And we're like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "Brandon, you hear that?" And he goes, "Let's just keep walking." So we, we just kept walking. <laughs> and we left. So that apparently is the stomping gowns for the the night marchers yeah and so, so th- that that ahead, yes that um please save us brandon because i'm a little confused yeah. but so essentially you guys were in I a place you. that was bad so okay i got you yeah i got no you no good For, yeah the, apparently the first, it's like a, a warrior burial ground as well the first whole day we were there we went on this this hike we just found we we found a hike uh to go on with with the waterfall and then connected to Solid. that hike was the the lookout um which was it just happened to be and we saw a little poster that that explained had a a picture of like the warriors pushing the other tribe off mm-hmm. uh off the cliff you know so that was kind of cool to see and then um the morning after that hike and going to the lookout is when <clears throat> uh hatch like first heard of the night marchers so Oh, so that, he picked this when, up. He picked this up in Hawaii. I right thought he after. like knew yes. about this or some shit. Because no. the way you've been talking about this, like it seems like this has been a lifelong mission no, for you. Dude, no, I uh-uh. found this out the day I went crazy about it. I went Sherlock yeah. Holmes and I was detective <laughs> mode about everything. I had to figure it out. All right. So we're like, you know what? Let's go try to find him. Let's go try to find him. And so Bend it. then we so then we had dinner with one of our friends that's a local over there. His name's Pops, Nico's dad. Yeah, right. pop Jesus bands. Pops. Yep. So me, so we were talking with him. Had a great dinner. Tried curry for the first time. You know what I'm saying? Remember that, Brando? Tried curry. Yep. That's um, okay. And so he was telling. I was asking him about the night marchers, and uh, I go, "So what's up, pops? You ever heard of the night marchers?" And he goes, "Oh yeah. You don't fuck with those." And I'm like, "Oh <laughs> damn, dude, right." I get- now that now, now that he's in Hawaii, dude, he's, he's, he's already he's giving Hawaiian me action. vibes. Have you ever seen Surfs Up? the the penguin yeah. surfing movie he's giving me the yeah. vibes of uh what is it big z right the old school surfer oh, i instantly I like thought of that when you said like yeah man you don't fuck with me <laughs> that's how uh, they all sound <laughs> that's yeah, okay that is, okay brandon right. that's no, racist he's absolutely right he's absolutely right that's <laughs> yeah. how you could really tell that's who you could really tell who the local was yeah those people yeah, sound like that 
I'm those just saying. Those people. Geeks. Oh, we're words, treading thin dude. lines here. Matt doesn't <laughs> want to get canceled. Right out of my mouth. But guys, Matt so, has things to live for. We can't get him canceled. All right. Matt, it won't happen. I promise. It's yeah. I was about to say it. it you haven't said anything that's bad. They can bad. take it out. They can take it out of context, but that, that's in the second hour of the show. That's, yeah, you know, yeah you no, made, that's that's made, where we pad it. Good. Yeah, no one, so, no one who's not a real homie isn't here right now. So we hear about the night marchers when we get back, and then the next morning at breakfast, I ask our server, and dude, our server, her eyes widen, and she goes, "Oh my god!" And she shows us her arm goosebumps. Okay, so you so, guys like saw them essentially. That's what you're telling me. No. That's not what I'm saying at all. Not, wait till the story. Not even I'm, done Okay. Done I'm, so that we've been day, on I, this for 20 minutes now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so the, the entire time, I'm like, dude, asking everybody. They're giving us locations on where to go. So we meet up with Pops, and he's like, okay, if you go to this certain highway with pork in your car, your car's supposed to turn off, right? Because the legend is okay. these people on this part of the island couldn't have pork because uh, certain people were hogging the pork industry or something like that. Um, so if you pass this highway, that with pork in your car, your car is supposed to shut off. We tried it. Wait, wait. What percentage did he say? One hundred percent. Thank you, Brando. Great, great, great thing. This guy told this guy told us one hundred percent your car will turn off. Oh, so he like, was that confident. Guaranteed. Yeah, we're like guaranteed. Uh, okay, so we we went. It was a I residential was like, area. Shit, you guys fucking like, work. You guys are breaking local myths apparently. Okay, so we, love that. We, we maybe got an engine stutter, maybe, at the most. A little bogged down, kind of, but nothing crazy. It happened, and me and Brandon looked at each other and didn't say shit. Damn. Not until after. Damn. So I will say, Hatch, I feel like you pulled a little bit of a lefty right now. This story has been about 30 minutes long, when it could have been about done. five. We're not done. We're not done. We're, We're not still done. not this done. Is, <laughs> I got, I got, dude, this is my experience. This is my spiritual experience. Dude, he was uh, on this for like yeah, three or four days. Yeah. This was a, a journey he went on, apparently. So that mm. day, I am like, dude. We gotta go see him. Like, oh, no. did you guys just lose him? Did, did you, you guys just lose right, him too? Right, I got it. That's I got fucking it. hilarious. <laughs> all right, I got it. In, <laughs> in fast forward. Um, so dude, he's frozen. Yeah, that's Hatch, so funny. Hatch Hatch was leading this charge of uh, he wanted to see him. So you know, we all agreed. Whatever. Uh, we went to Walmart, got a bunch of flashlights, and. Um, they it, they said the the trail that we went on uh, is where you see them, like going through the forest and everything, mm. <clears throat> and then but the lookout also is haunted, and there's a little passage underneath the the little lookout point that we could go down. Um, okay, so that's stuff. essentially kind of like where the locals think that the night marchers show up, like in that area, kind like, of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we went there. Um, the lookout was further up the road, so we chose to go to the lookout and then hit the, the hike on the way back. Um, went to the lookout, and mind you, it's like the lookout's on top of the mountains. So you're looking down to, on both sides of the island. We're, mm -hmm. This is uh, Oahu. Um, okay. And it was beautiful, but when you're up there, the wind's fucking crazy. <clears throat> and, well... Uh, we went there, I think, three times, and two of the times we were in clouds. So, so you're kind of wow, high up, too. To so, yeah, up. it's yeah. like in, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we get up there, and uh, the wind wasn't that bad unt until we parked by Hatch. Um, I'll do it. Uh, the I'm the host now. I'm the third yeah. host now. Ha -ha. Yeah. So, uh, you change. Sorry for our video listeners. Names are going to be fucked up, but. It's all good. Well, we'll get him back in at some point. But uh, but yeah, so you guys are up there in the clouds. Also, I love how your camera got better. So I feel like you absorbed Hatch's internet power and you've now get become him. Here. Get <laughs> out of here. I got so much of it in California to share. It, we really, yeah, just like our water. water. <laughs> um, you have nothing here. Here, this will be here for when he gets back. Um, so, <laughs> so we get up there. And the wind just picks up all of, all of a sudden, and now it starts raining. You know, it's a little misty, but because we're in the clouds, but now it starts raining hard. And there's a bunch of cats up there too. And um, a couple of people were were a little little scared, and, and uh, we're like, yeah, well, maybe maybe let's not get out on top of this ridge uh, with it this windy. 
and rainy and pitch black up there. All we have is our lights. But again, we're in clouds, so we turn the light on and it barely, you know, we can't see that far. So, yeah. you know, we we stayed up there for maybe 45 minutes to an hour and um, didn't, didn't see anything. But uh, mm-hmm. then right before we left, uh, myself, uh, Hatch, and Michelle ran out of the car really quick to the the edge and hatch ended up standing on top of the the little like brick wall that they have there leaning over um yeah that was a little scary wow yeah leaning over looking to the to the darkness looking for the night marchers calling <laughs> yeah. to them. just high up on this mountain somewhere in the middle yeah. of the night dude it was weird yeah that sounds sketchy then, yeah so we left uh decided not to do the a little hike because uh, as soon as we pulled in it's te- technically on private property um we were told like it's, oh, it's fine it. yeah. as long as you don't deviate from the tra- the trail um mm-hmm. but we went um the gate was closed we didn't check if it was locked but the gate to it was closed uh mm-hmm. so we're like all right let's uh let's let's maybe not fuck with this thing you know and and <laughs> some some that he didn't stress enough when he was asking the locals about it was they all said to be respectful. Just be respectful. Yeah. You know, they don't they don't want to be if it's if it is true, if they are a thing, like they don't want to be uh, a mess they with. They have to live with it. Like, yeah, like Yeah. You know, <laughs> be respectful to the land, be respectful to the natives, just be respectful. And the ground and the earth that came before us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 um yeah, it's precious. It's too oh, yeah. excuse me. Um so I hate to cut you off, Brandon, but yeah, 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 I'm going to... So Hatch apparently dropped out. His internet fell out of connection, so for anyone wandering out there. So we're going to give it a boy. minute or two, and we're going to get him back in the call, and then we will be right back, guys. So it'll be a second for you guys. You won't even know anything happened. Bye. Dude, All right, we got Hatch. The Night Marchers almost got me. Bro. Dude, the Night Marchers were trying to take him what away. And with that, that we'll, jump, we'll jump back into the show. So welcome back, guys. I told you we'd ba- be back in just a second. Uh, but Sorry, yeah, so... Bad. The night marchers were trying to drag him away. Uh, his internet went out, unfortunately. Dude, Take they my said, boy. I called. They're like, there might be a possible outage in your area. And I'm like, these night marching motherfuckers, bro. Seriously. <laughs> this is not the time. Get them. Well, I was telling time. Matt, was like, out. dude, the universe doesn't want us to film episode 52, man. We've, no, we've had dude, so really many adversities, out, so many challenges, people flaking. People, we... And Ryan, Ryan knows that it's like, I would never do try to do that. It's like, dude, that oh, is I don't the blame star, you for the internet the outage. Stars aligning. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh just kind of is what it is. But um, I mean, yeah. So I behind the scenes stuff a little bit, guys. For our Patreon members, you guys did have to wait a couple extra days for this, and I do apologize for that. Uh, unfortunately, we were supposed to record this last week, and um, well, Evan flaked on us. Uh, we got into a straight Discord up. call. We straight up we were supposed to do it. Uh, we've been talking to him for waited. about six hours or six hours, about six months. We've been talking to him like, hey, we got this coming up. You want to do that? And he's like, yeah just didn't show up hasn't responded to any of us since so uh i hope you're okay buddy honestly like i really hope Where'd you didn't go? get in a car crash or something Thanks, but so um, seven. but yeah so we we call our boy matt he's filling in and uh and yeah guys so we're we're finally back into this the internet troubles and everything aside i mean the world is trying to oh, set us up but we're, we're here we're you know it's gonna come out on tuesday like always for our regular people so you know consistency that's what we got consistency yeah. that's the key that is the key to all of it but yep. yeah i mean jumping back into i mean so you know that was the the night marchers story um we gotta work on your storytelling hatch i, I, I love far, you buddy how far did he go how far did he go I, he went I finished he, it he finished it he was able to tell us you know kind of you guys went back and, and didn't end up going you, on you the hike my spiritual but... ex- you tell him my spiritual experience i told him that you jumped up there um and i i i I held him by the butt as he jumped up there but let you if you want to fill in that's fine this i i felt it dude i felt the the spiritualness not even i am not even fucking with you dude so brando has my butt pocket from me having me fall forward from my death right i get up there i'm like trying to look for anything shining the bright can't see shit i no joke I, I, my arms start going like this, you know, with, with the wispy, and I fall backwards. I go to fall backwards, no joke. I feel something stop me from falling. And then I'm like, whoop, and then I just land on my feet. Okay. No bullshit. Dude, was that it Brandon? Was, it was not Brando. Brando was holding my butt pocket from having me full, yeah. full, full forward. 
I was holding him with my left hand, and I had the flashlight in my right hand going back and forth. Yeah. Looking. I like how you guys pretty much became paranormal investigators. You guys went back out, you had the flashlights. Like, did you guys have a really bad, like, 2004 digital camera? Honestly, uh, did no, you guys dude, have the, EMF like, detectors. night vision scope? To... Yeah, the EMF detectors. That's yep. what we need. Honestly, dude, all right, we need more people on the Patreon so we can get EMF detectors for next time. Well, okay. Seriously. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I will I will make this goal. If we get ever a thousand members on Patreon, we will all fly to Hawaii and go back on this trail with EMF detectors, night vision, the whole nine yards. We'll do it. I swear At to God. Night, if that uh, ever happens, we will, too. Matt Let's will be go. there. That is, I will come. That is words that have been spoken. So a thousand Let members. Me if we ever get to that. <laughs> you, you guys have never seen darkness like that. That is next level darkness. I, I see like, what you're saying, yeah. You could Give me some nods, I'd feel shit. better. The, the only way you could really see, the only light that there really was were these uh, parking machines that would turn on every five minutes. And that was a that damn was weird, ass light. Yeah. Was it, so question, because I guess, was it a very overcast night? So like the, the moon was blocked out or was there just no moon? Was it like a really, because you know, like the moon there goes so through much cycles. Foliage, you couldn't see them. You couldn't really see the moon from where we were. I got you. Okay. So actually that's scary because night vision then wouldn't help. <laughs> Cause like, <laughs> yeah. so a and little bit of a background, like night vision needs some type of light to amplify. And so if there's yeah. none already, then you're just to reflect fucked. off of. Yeah. That's thermal <laughs> it is. I'm scared. Thermal All right. Predator it is. vision. It is. I like that. Uh, but so I'm like shining the flashlight back and forth and no joke. All you can see are cat eyes. And there are, there, there was like two by, there were like two by the tree, one more out towards there. And there was another one that I low key don't think that it was cat eyes. Okay. That's what me I was just going to ask. I was like, were these actual cats? No or? one else fucking saw it except for me and Yvonne. How convenient. And me, and, me and Yvonne immediately go, did you guys just fucking see that? And everybody goes, goes huh? What? Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Bro. Yep. And so I'm like, I'm like, Yvonne, you saw that, right? And she goes, yeah, I saw that. That did not look like eyes. And so the entire time we are like, dude, that is, I do not think that was eyes. Plus, I, I no joke, I felt like I got caught, bro. I got caught like when I fell back. I still think that's out. Brandon. I still think it that's Brandon. Brandon. No, I'm telling you, it was not Brandon. It no. wasn't me. Touch like he back. asked, he asked me like, hey, did you catch me when I went back? I'm like, no, I was just holding your your pocket. He did like, not catch me, dude. I like me it and was... Matt are still stuck. Like I, I, his face is not convincing. I mean, you guys got to look hey, at the video I'm episode of the dude, show. I'm telling you. Yeah, I, I, I don't no joke. Would have fallen back on my like the back of my head, but like yeah. something stopped me, and like I was able to just land straight on my feet. Like dude, ha dude. Hatch, Hatch felt what he felt. I don't know. I mean, I, I wasn't <laughs> holding his back. I don't. Hatch know. was just hearing this as he's just descending down. Just, Honestly, ah. way better than the other way around. <laughs> Falling straight forward to my death. Oh, oh my god. god. Well, I'm glad you're still here, buddy. The Heavenly too, Father <laughs> protected you. Me. Even the night marchers couldn't get me. Have you had anything like that, Matt? Anything? anything have you, have you gone paranormal hunting? activities? I can't say that I have. I'm out of the leap on paranormal activities. What's up, are you a believer? You also, don't you live in like prime haunting area? Because I feel like the East Coast, because of all the history and everything, is way more haunted than the West Coast, personally. That's what I think. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like they do like the ghost walks and everything out here. Um, I don't, I don't know. I do. I, I don't want to say I don't believe in it, but um, I just, I don't let myself get caught up in it. I guess that's I the see. Best yeah, way yeah, to put it. Yeah, I agree. And I was telling everybody that in the car. I was like, all right, we have to make sure our eyes do not play tricks on us. We have to make sure so, we are staying as mentally sane as possible. That's the hard part. Nothing Honestly. is going to happen to you. Is what I always tell myself. That's what, I, that's, that's what I was telling you. That's what me and Cedar were basically telling everybody. Mm -hmm. We were saying, realistically, nothing is going to happen. Yeah. Like, it's like a mental conditioning thing. Like, I just walk up the steps now when the lights are all dark behind Matt's me. That's just built just different, do it just you know? To do it. Yeah. He's, he's just different from us, guys. Like, we don't you know, understand there's it. There's nothing that's going to get you. Just, just tell yourself <laughs> that and walk up the stairs. You don't have to run up them. I promise. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Matt. <laughs> I do it anyway. That's some solid <laughs> advice. I fuck with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, okay. So, I... Paranormal stuff's always kind of crazy because it's like, I don't know, is it there? Is it not? Like, Who because can I feel tell like me that is no bro, one can tell me that's not. So, but my thing is like, if you go to like Gettysburg, oh, bro, there's some crazy yeah, yeah, shit yeah. that happened there, and I'm not just talking about like crazy shit in general. Like, just humans went through crazy experiences there, and so it's also weird that where that happened, a lot of people have reportings of like, there's some weird shit that goes on around this area. I, yeah. I don't know. I, it, 
I've never really it's seen enough evidence it's to convince to me fully, but at the same time, there's just things that don't make sense, you know? Like, just kind of, you hear enough stories where you're like, that's kind of weird. You know, I always thought what was bullshit when they're like, like on like the ghost shows when... Well, most of those were bullshit because there was reality television I, from the I, 2000s, I but continue. But they'd, be like, they'd be like an orb of dust floating and they're like, oh, God, look, it's a spirit. It's like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I no, see. It would literally be like the dust that's of flying dust. Like in the dust. Yeah. It's like, bro, it picks up is, the light and they're like, oh, we got one live on yeah. camera. Yeah. They're like, oh, my God, that must be a ghost manifesting. It's like, shut up. No, it's not. That's just a piece of dust. I, I think that would be crazy to do one day. Like there was a... a I was a big fan of uh, like Rooster Teeth content as I was growing up throughout the days. And one of their uh, mm -hmm. channels actually did a paranormal type activity, like, you know, video. Like they went to these different haunted places. It was a whole series they did. I would do something like that, but I'd be shitting bricks the whole time. I really would. Because I, I, I don't know. A part of me believes, you know, it's one of those like I want to believe type things. I think a I part just need of more evidence. Believe. Yeah, me and Brando. Me and Brando locked eyes in the car. We're like, we're going out there and looking off the edge, right? And he and goes, I, you know what he says? You know what Brando says to me? He goes, and content. And then we jump out of the car. He no has a good bullshit. ass point. No, no, no. <laughs> to fill this in, to clarify for viewers, this was a day when some shit happened behind the scenes. Hatch literally called me from Hawaii. This is one of the only times that he called me from there. And he's like, guess what I'm about to do tonight? I'm about to do go to this haunted ass place for content. And I was like, yep. that's my guy. Get some footage. Let's go, man. Yep. The thing is, if you're, if you're on a podcast, bro, no one wants to hear a boring guy talk. You know what I'm saying? We got to make sure we're keep spicing it up a little bit. Yeah, you know? we got to go out there, see some night marchers and shit in Hawaii. So I told you, dude. Yeah, I said, I said you're a content creator now. Felt I felt like it. And man, that's just terrifying, Matt. Now I know how you feel, dude, for a single second. For a single second. I, Matt, have you ever gone to haunted places for content? I feel like that isn't no, in your in your content like that's realm. That's a good idea. I mean, you guys are in Carolina. Twenty four hours in a haunted house. Damn. Okay. That would. That's like, dude. Holy shit, so, bro. I was saying. If there is a. Dirt. If there is a a <sighs> chance that us plus you and Will could come together and film like a paranormal style video, I'm down because I think that would be hilarious. Honestly, I th I feel like if we lowered the sub goals, it's legitimately doable. You know, the, the, that a, one for Hawaii is more so to are, cover are, the payment yeah. for all of us to get no, to I'm Hawaii. Honestly, dude, okay, hear me, but, out, hear me out, hear me out. It doesn't even have to be in Hawaii because they'll remember my ass. Maybe we should go somewhere else. No, I, I understand what you're saying. For for a, a domestic 40, lower 48, let's do 500, you know, because that would be a cheaper budget. We don't need to go, you know, production everywhere and all this stuff. There's hella shit haunted in Vegas, bro. That's true. Do you go Urban Explore Vegas? Do you guys want to come out? Maybe when we go to Vegas next year, we'll, we'll film some content in some of the crazier places down there. Go to the, uh, where do we go? The Zach Bagan Museum that we went to um, with all oh, the haunting tell me, stuff. Tell me about this shit, Brando. This, Brando was telling me about I, got I actually goosebumps. don't know about this. Yeah, please pull me this in. Crazy. Zach Pagan, you said? Uh, the guy who... Zach... Zach um zach bagans he's the guy Bag he's the who hosts yeah. who hosts uh ghost adventures like by far the most okay, like i kind of know what you're talking about most, like legitimized like ghost hunting show that's why it lasted so long is because it's I, real quick before we get into this some people don't matt have you ever watched like horror style shows like these type of like ghost adventure shows you, you've been quiet over there so I'm, is this out of your ballpark no nah, dude i i'm just uh i'm listening you know, uh, he's actively yeah, listening. Is, he's taking in the this conversation. Is of, this is definitely out of my ballpark. Okay, Damn. So, all right. Well, welcome into from the sidelines, my friend. This is you. a paintball this, podcast. I want to remind everyone of that. This, um, so, yeah, the last time I was in Vegas, uh, we went with with some family and you know, we're all we're all the same age and everything. And um, all the all the girls were big into ghost stuff. And mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about this Zach Bagan guy. And uh, they found the uh, uh, the ho or the the museum there, so we're like, yeah, we'll go. We went at like six o'clock at night or something like that. Uh, we got a tour. Sorry to cut in. Where was this located in Vegas? Is this like Fremont, like old school Vegas, or? I couldn't tell you. I don't okay. know. Okay, okay, uh, that's fine. It, it, it's in Vegas, though. <laughs> okay, it, it's Google's not free, like... baby. Google's free. Yeah, Google's you know. free. We drove 15, 20 minutes. Um, okay, and that's yeah, this house that he bought. Uh, and it was, it's haunted. The house is haunted itself, um, but he stores a bunch of like haunted items or or uh, items that he's gotten from uh, doing 
uh, investigations. So essentially, it's the episode of Rick and Morty where the devil sets up an item shop and everything's cursed. That's sure. kind of what I'm getting here. Okay, cool. Yeah, All right, yeah, continue. I think yeah. of it like that. That's yeah. a great one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, like he, he has like some of the Annabelle stuff that the, the uh, I forget the couple's name, but the couple that that did the the whole Annabelle conjuring kind of kind of stuff with that movies are based on. He had a couple of those the uh, Warren items. Family. The Warren. Yeah. yeah. Um, he had, you know, some serial killer uh, items on display. Mm. He, had, he had a bunch of stuff, but down serial in the basement, killer items, there's just like a Ryan Green bent. Greenspan headband. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, I had to get that one in there. It fit too easily. Great merch drop. Dude. Uh, but they stress not to touch anything. There's a room with a bunch of dolls, which is creepy. Um, that is creepy. Dolls are it was creepy. up there. Yeah. Yeah, no yeah, thanks. We, we walked. We went. We walked. We got the, the tour in the, the doll room. We walked down the hall. And... I was uh, one of the the last three at the back of the hall, and we just heard like a a loud thud. We look back, and we're like, I think one of the dolls just fell. That's weird. We told the worker, and the worker's like, Okay. She she went to go to go look. Never saw her again. But yeah, no, she's um, dead. <laughs> that worker uh, is in a ditch maybe. somewhere. Uh, <laughs> um, but they were down in the basement. They did. There was a pentagram on the the floor that, where they did sacrifices. Um. And you know, they were awesome. devil worshippers. The the the, oh, the original owners of the house were devil worshippers. Um, I see. I, w I wish I. So I my museum my... experience in Vegas is definitely different because the one I've been to was the Gangster Museum, which the is awesome, museum? by the way. I like that one. The Mob Museum is sick. Fire. Definitely, there was no pentagrams. There was no creepy dolls. So it was a different experience for sure. But uh, you guys should Lame. go check that one out as well. I agree. I agree. My favorite museum is the Museum of Death. That one was wild. I think we should all go there someday. Well, okay, so unironically, there is another cool one. I don't know if you guys have actually been to it, but uh, the uh, Neon Museum. It's where they have a whole bunch of the old, like, neon signs from, like, the Fremont Street, the, you know, casinos Ooh. from back in the day and shit. Very cool museum. Very uh, different from what we were talking about, but it, it was just in was Vegas just and it reminded shit. me. But, so... That one's spooky, too. It's definitely spooky. It's old <laughs> shit. No, but, um, so... Okay, so there was a pentagram on the floor and shit. So this was literally like yeah. an active like worshippers house or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I like the previous oh, owners before Zach Bagans got it. They were they they would do sacrifices in the basement. Is what you're saying? Yeah, they. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. I remember. I, Yo, I like, lived I wish, in Vegas I I and I didn't know this was there, and now I'm scared that I lived there. Like, <laughs> it, dude, it was cool. Uh, I. There, it was a famous actress that grew up there. That it was her family that originally owned uh, it. Nicole Kidman. All right, yeah. Was it? I don't know. I have I, no fucking clue. <laughs> I'm just throwing a name out there. I don't fucking know, dude. Um, Natalie Portman. That's called defamation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't remember the actress, but uh, they named her and it was like, holy shit! And there's pictures of her as a kid there and stuff. It, it was, it was cool, you know. And so, you know, if we're a hey, NXL Vegas. 2024 maybe um, we can yeah get some haunted go house content there. in all right oh yeah. i'm down as fuck to go ghost hunting oh man matt this is good to know this is, all good to know this is we need you for this one matt we need to turn you into a believer well and Bro, i guess this evidence. is this is related to paintball because nxl vegas was i mean officially announced we've kind of known about it in the uh the kind of background for a little bit but yeah now it's publicly guys confirmed. we're going to you know we're going to vegas next year how does how does that feel Matt, you got to come oh. out here, motherfucker. Ha <laughs> ha, we got you. You don't get to stay on the East Coast all year. Yeah, I'm excited, man. Uh, I mean, I've been to Vegas before in like 2018 uh, to party with like some of my boys from high school. Mm -hmm. uh, I really, I really enjoyed it. Um, the, I feel like, I feel like I'm kind of scared too, because I feel like Vegas has like some rough parts that if I like want to adventure out, I might like so, get caught up in. But uh, honestly, I feel like, like that's every city. Well, yeah, and so honestly, guys, local. I lived in Vegas. Um, the biggest thing, honestly, is it's just the north side. So if you head up to like kind of right around where Craig Ranch Park is, or what I forget what the actual one is, but where we hang out, that's the sketchy area. So heads okay. up, keep your doors locked, all that shit. But really, like Vegas is a pretty cool place, and especially if you go to the Strip or like south of the Strip, that's kind of yeah. where I lived when I was there. It's mostly retirement folks. It's older communities. It's you know suburbs. It's it's honestly a really nice place. I 
I miss Vegas. I, I loved living there because um, it was cool because, you know, if you're out kind of in the suburbs, you're just in the normal kind of, you know, suburb like it would be of any yeah. city. But then you look on your skyline and all right, there's, you know, all the the strip, you know, the, the different yeah. things and, you know, stuff you can go hang out at, you know, if you want mm -hmm. to. So, yeah, it's a great city. I really enjoy Yeah, I really enjoyed the strip. We stayed in the Luxor and uh, love it that was, one. Uh, Chris Angel, yeah. mind freak. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it wasn't too crazy for us to stay there either for like four nights. It was pretty chill. Yeah. Um, and so like I really enjoyed the strip just going walking around. I drank the whole time. Didn't gamble at all because that's the type of person I am. Yeah. No, uh, the casinos hate you. That's why you got that room for so cheap. Because they was like, well, okay, he's going to pay a hundred bucks a night, but then he's going to put like at least 40 on our tables. So we'll yeah. make it back. And then that's <laughs> like, nah. I just played in the, the arcade, the esports arena they had there. Hey, oh, okay. I've been to that. It's actually pretty sick. There. Yeah. yeah. Go that looks sick test out my valorant skills yeah, but I'm, fun I'm excited, fact one man. of the first Fortnite tournaments ever was held there really that's yeah. cool yeah ninja Damn. did his own little like private thing oh, the, there that was the back pro, when the pro am 20 whatever. like 16 Fortnite. like i'm talking like back back in the day 17, yeah yeah the, yeah. Ninja, the ninja pro am Damn. yeah 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 lupo that was, was one of the hosts that's probably when i was, that was there. 2018 damn <laughs> Yeah, bro. But, uh, dude, time flies, man. Time flies. Ninja okay, now is a Fortnite. washed up loser. Uh, but. <laughs> he, he opened CSGO cases now. That's his thing. Dude, okay. I'm sorry. But so it's funny to me. It's, this is a completely different topic than what we've been talking about. But all these Twitch streamers who came out and were like, hey, gambling was banned on Twitch. That's great. You know, like it's now not they're basically doing the same shit. You fucking cut me off, but exactly. Because right. it's like, come on, guys. Like, you can't be like, hey, fuck slot machine companies and all this stuff, but we're going to open a box on Steam that is pretty much the same thing. And that's that's cool. I, I don't I don't get the distinction there. That's my own Damn kind of thing pixels. I've been thinking about with, uh, you know, CSGO and all that stuff. Dude, I'm so pissed I sold my CSGO inventory back in the day. For those who don't know, I mean, Counter-Strike, they have this whole skin system where you can, like, get items and then sell them to other people because they have now announced the release of cs2 which is i guess they're kind of you know upgrade they're making a new version of it and they have announced that skins will carry over the skin market has literally gone up 400 percent, if not more in like the recent you know couple of months and goddamn 17 year old ryan is pissed off that he sold his you know all that shit back in the day when he was like i'm done with this spent 2000 hours of my life on this game i'm getting away i'm never coming back oh sometimes it bites you in the ass guys 2k hours is no joke mm -hmm. i i can show you the steam profile mm -hmm. No, Counter Strike was my shit back in the day. I don't know why every single other member of this podcast has now got on their phone or is now out of frame, but uh, I was that's, messling. I, that's I fun. was messling, messaging Dan Shelley. You were actually. Messling? You were messling? I was wrestling Dan Shelley. Wait, why? <laughs> I can see your camera. You're definitely not wrestling him. But uh, all right, man. Did you did you text him? Is he is he said what's up? Or I was, I was like I was like yo, uh, let me call you. So can it be text busy before tomorrow? So I was like, all right, just got I just got something uh, for you. You gotta uh, let him know. You gotta let him know. Here, uh, just say like it is very urgent. Can we have a couple minutes of your time? Oh God, that actually sounds so pushy. <laughs> <laughs> but here, I'll text him that then. Um, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. Let me do it. Let me do it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, you know some of the stuff going on with Infinite Paintball. Uh, but that looks cool. Let me let me take a second. Let me hit up Dan. Um, he was, like we said earlier, the winner of our headband for this month. Uh, let's see if we can get him on the show. Uh, but yeah, guys, I mean, was there anything else happening in Hawaii? Any kind of wrap up stories? And, you know, you guys went out there. How is oh, it as man. a whole? Like, you know, Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Fuck. God damn this. So this is where the shit almost got us killed. So one of the last nights we're returning our rental car. And after this incident, they came up with a new rule for me. Not allowed to talk to people past 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, Lord. So uh, we get, we're filling up gas before we turn the rental car. And we get here, here, here really quick, really quick here. Let's we we, rent, we rented a car from Toro. <laughs> I'm right? so glad Brandon went as well. Yeah. So we I have another, let, let another me, guy. Let me preface it. <laughs> let me, let me preface it. We rented a car from Toro. Uh, we were flying out Friday morning, so we had to return the car uh, at no later than 11.30 p.m. Thursday night. 
we left the hotel to return it at 11 p.m. So, and then we had to fill it up, obviously, uh, fill the gas tank up before we we fill uh, uh, we dropped it off. So, mm-hmm. I'll Being leave courteous. it at that. Yeah, and uh, well, they told me to. So, um, so hatch, w- 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 take it, Ooh, take it from there. Bug, dude. So, um, I'm getting out, you know, stretching my legs like I usually do. Okay, Hash, I, I hate guy. to do this. I hate to no, do this. Dan reached out to me. He's cool to talk, so let me call him yep, real yep, quick, yep, hey, and then we'll get into this. So we'll get we'll do this real quick, and then we'll get back his into time that. Is, his time is important. All right, so let's throw him on speaker here. Hey, Dan. Hey, so real quick, we're you're live on the show right now. <laughs> yeah, what's up? So uh, we're back in the show. I just wanted to be the first one to tell you, you actually won the Nick Laval headband giveaway for the uh, month of July. Yeah, man, we just drawed it live on the show about 20 minutes ago, and yeah, you were the name that came up. And I will be there to wear it with my shells and my Crocs. <laughs> nice. Let's, Let's go. Yeah. He's got the Crocs oh in there. All right. They're, they're yeah, crazy. all right. Well, so sadly, my phone is completely cutting out, and I, I definitely appreciate what you're saying, Dan. I, I, I'm sorry for that, but we're having technical difficulties on our side, so Hatch is laughing at me. But, um, you know, thank you for, you know, being a Patreon, for signing up for the show. Uh, you know, I, I appreciate it. And, I love uh, you, Dan. I love yeah, you, Dan. Yeah, Hatch is yelling, I love you. you All too. the guys are saying they love you. So, I tried, uh, yeah. I tried. Okay. He's saying love you guys right back. All right, well, thanks for coming on the show. I know you're out at the Hormesis one-on-one event, so have a fun time out there, and we'll talk to you soon, brother. You're the man, Dan. Yeah, man. All right, see you later, bro. There we go. So sorry about nice. that, guys. I my mic didn't want to pick it up. I don't know why, but so honestly, that dude, sucks. the thing is, it's so it's so it was like cutting so in quality. and out or some shit. Yeah, your mic is so high quality that it's like a phone is just not enough because it's just so high quality. They're like this this I also, of an iPhone. I'm a hundred percent honest too that like, dude, my my uh, my speakers are so messed up on this phone. I've had this for like five years now. I mean, hey, if it works, it works. You know, we make do with what we got, kids. I agree. I but agree. uh but yeah so shout out dan thank you so much for being a patreon you, member dan. shout out to all the rest of our patreon members as well uh we'll talk about you guys more later on the show i actually have a planned moment for that but uh but yeah so all right so you guys had the tour car you got her filled back up with gas and uh what was the final part of that story so so we get there and this guy is standing there out with a slurpee in his hand i thought he was a surfer right typical setting right hawaii guy with no shirt tan guy i thought it was gonna be a surfer didn't have a surfboard my dumb ass and uh he is like kind of hovering around us goes towards the gas pumps and he makes a comment on my hair and mustache like my whole aesthetic right he goes oh in a thick ass hawaiian accent he goes oh i like that bill murray and i'm like bill murray what the fuck and then uh he says like like i think he says like gene simmons like from kiss or some shit right and then i i guess kind of invite him over to talk for a second oh my god fuck oh so, no we are talking to this guy right and i'm giving a fist bump what's going on man my name is steven but everybody calls me hatch this is cedar right here and brando's the guy pumping the gas and <laughs> this guy is yeah, the whole lowdown this, i love it at this point cedar real it clicks in cedar's head this guy's a fucking crackhead um so good times he thought yeah. he was just a local uh, well, you know so inviting I local. Talking, yeah i was like hey man so what have you heard about the night marchers and he's like, oh, you know, you have Google in your pocket. You know, you could look it up. And he's like, obviously, <laughs> obviously kind of obviously kind of fuck with me at first. And then mm, 30 seconds of like banter of, goes by, right? We're talking and he's not really saying anything of like sustenance, you know, just kind of fucking just talking just to talk. I'm like, okay, bro, like have a good one. And we go, we go in to, to the, I'm in the, I'm calling shotgun, right? So I go in, close the door. This motherfucker is hot on my heels. Like I close the door and he is on me, right? And so he's like, he like looks in, he like looks in, he's like, he is looking, scout, staring at me, like just looking at me through the window. And he like knocks on, goes, knock, he knock. was a night marcher. Yes, this is dude, seriously. And then I roll down the window a crack, like maybe like that much. And I'm like, what's up, man? And then this is where it clicks that I was talking about the night marchers. This is when he's like, gets really serious. He's like, he's like, you know. Those are those are Hawaiian warriors. They'll kill you. You look at them, they'll kill you. And he is like, no joke. He's like, he's like your fucking face. We we could we could I could take you back to a real place. You know, really want to see the night marchers. 
And this guy is no so, joke tweaking his fucking balls off. Brando, tell me some more. Where's where some more details? Oh, oh, dude, this there's is the some one, more I, details. This is so, this is the biggest one. Sorry, Ad. Tonight, the amount of times you've started a story <laughs> and then been like, Brandon, please finish it for me. I'm trying to, God, I'm trying it's to so include funny. Brando. I'm trying to include Brando in some of these details. But oh, one, I love it. I will never forget. This is where dead giveaway. I thought I knew he was a crackhead when he was like look when he was like looking like back and forth in the car. Did he look he through was, you? No, dude. So after every couple words he would say, this is when the crackhead went away. He'd be like, so where are you guys living? And he would do that after every what? time he talked. He'd yeah. Like, so is it cool if I come over to your place? And he would just like do that, like whistling with, a, with a, his bottom lip. And it was no joke, eerie as fuck. Because then at that point, his eyes were wide the fuck open, just staring at us. And Brando is coming to my rescue. He is like, He's like, oh, like, we're just here to, like, you know, just learn about the culture. We're just blah, partying. Blah, blah. So, we're yeah, just teens, yeah. sir. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, I, I see this guy. I see the interaction. I, I don't talk to the guy. I said hi. That's it. I am the guy mostly talking. Yeah, and then I get in the car, and then they get in the car. This guy knocks. You know, the next interaction happens with, uh, through the window, and I'm looking at him. And the guy says, like, it's okay to be curious. That's okay to be curious. That's but not creepy guys, or anything. Yeah. If, if you guys really want to see him, like, go find out. Like, I could take you if you want to find out. And, like, he he's getting a little serious. He was like, going to rape you guys. That's what I think was going to happen. His eyes said a thousand empty words. His eyes were so wide. That it was like this guy, like, this guy saw death a thousand yeah. times over so i you Not see some it. shit when you're a crackhead on the hawaiian yeah. islands man you, you know i'm gonna be honest you could tell he had like mad liver damage you because his eyes were yellow as shit i was about to say how could you tell he has mad liver damage and i was like oh wait that well, actually makes sense yeah, <laughs> that's makes yeah sense, that's right? jaundice yeah that's what happens <laughs> yeah and yet dude and so these crazy yellow eyes are just staring at us and I cracked the window enough. Real, the guy was a skinny crackhead. He probably realistically probably could have gotten a fist in on me realistically. But my, in my mind, while this is going on, I'm like, man, worse comes to worse. I catch a slurpee to the head. Worse comes to worse. <laughs> worse comes to worse. Because when he knocks, he puts his bag on the windshield and a slurpee on top of the car. So at this point, he's like leaning on it like hella close against the window. So this guy. Yeah, was, and, 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 and so yeah, he, he's talking this, and. Sorry to cut you off, Brandon. No, Essentially, no, no. what I'm getting is Hatch went to Hawaii, and instead of focusing on the beautiful sights, the amazing scenery, the great weather, the amazing drinks and beaches, he focused on the local terrors called the Night Marchers. I think that was mostly like that when we were in the car, when I had like the, the, the athlete's car ride, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, <laughs> these fucking marchers, dude. So essentially, most of the times you guys were isolated in like the car or something, you'd just be like, "Man, are we gonna die? Like, are they gonna come for us?" Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. That's not comforting. That doesn't help. Like, that doesn't make me feel better. Everybody was loving it. Everybody was like, "Damn, dude, this shit's fucking wild." Because you we were hatch, getting more no and more. No offense. And more. This is why you were the single guy on the trip with all the ex girlfriends and the That's boyfriends. Fine. Like, this is. <laughs> You can't be bringing stuff up like this, you know? We're just trying to have a peaceful Dude, Hawaiian vacation, Michelle, and you're reminding Michelle me of death. Michelle was my number one supporter. Michelle was my number one supporter. She's like, let's go. Let's go. And <laughs> let's I'm like, go. Dude, Dude, let's fucking go. But yeah, Brandon, but, yeah. that scares me. Uh, she likes that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she was she was down for everything that, that she had my back. Hatch wanted to do. Uh, God damn. Yeah, there were right. several times where, where we were walking, and it was like, fuck is hatch and we look look back the and fuck say, is hatch? He's, he's talking to a local and the local's like yeah they're about this high like don't yeah. fuck with them, yeah, yeah, don't fuck with them man. All right. I, I could have wrote like a legitimate report with how much data i was getting some people wow. were saying they were huge warriors some people saying they were like little gremlin sized warriors hatch, like ankle you're, fighters you're literally our like investigatory fucking correspondent you're you're down on the scene you're interviewing people you're getting the lead story i love it I had to. I had to. Because I feel like it's my duty, you know, to provide the people with stuff that the average person would not know. Well, you now, know who now else everybody is duty? knows about night marchers. That 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 is pretty true. So while you guys were gone, one of the things that I did was I went and watched Oppenheimer. Matt, have you watched this movie? I haven't, but I want to. So I'm I'm not gonna spoil, so I will tell everyone right now, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but honestly, if you know history, then you know the story already. But it's just it's very well done. 
the explosion, the way Christopher Nolan handled that was beautiful. Um, it's one of those movies that's like, I, I don't want to say too much because it's like, I don't want to give away the story. Go see it for yourselves. I will say, if you're going into it, expecting to like see a whole bunch of nukes dropping and all this shit, that's not you're going right to the wrong you. movie. You, this is a historical like thriller and it is, yeah, it, it was awesome. I, I had a blast. I went to it. One of the craziest things was in the theater that I was in. Um, so most theaters have a uh, subwoofer that sits right behind the projector up front. So it gives you that like front projecting base. It literally at certain points during the film was at a frequency so low, the projector was rippling. Like the screen was literally <laughs> shaking Damn, from the projector. Sick. You could you could see it like rippling. And I thought it was like in the movie at first. And then I was like, oh no, that's just how low the bass tone is right now. Like it's fucking shit up. Um, go see it on the biggest screen that you can. It is absolutely amazing. I wish more people were here so we could talk about it a little bit more. But um, the, also the random just like guest appearances from like well-known celebrities that you're like, that's what happens when Christopher Nolan directs something. Like, if he tells you to come show up somewhere for two lines, you show the fuck up. You're like, hey, man, all right, I'm going to do it. Yeah. It looks so professional with all the angles and everything that they were using. And this looks well, like yeah, told I told the story perfectly, perfectly. Yeah. I, so, like, the biggest one that pops in my head, what I was saying with the, like, cameos, the guest cameos, mm-hmm. Remy Malik. He's a Oscar award winning actor now for, you know, the stuff he did for uh, the Freddie Mercury role. And he literally shows up and has like two lines <laughs> like there's times earlier he's in the movie at points where he doesn't say anything and he's like dude you're a glorified extra that's the power of christopher nolan <laughs> like all these really powerful awesome famous people who are just like yeah we're gonna you want us there we'll be there I'll, i'm in let's go could hmm. you imagine if matt the gym rat was in oppenheimer like big big celebrity I roles back in the That'd background yeah just in a suit you know helping out like during one of the tests or something uh, his little handkerchief says like another deposit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Why oh, are you man. pointing and like shooting a marker like in the past? <laughs> like this is 1940. Paintball doesn't exist yet, or did it? Not not yet. Not yet. Or did it? Well, Maybe it was like <laughs> you're asking about time theory now. That's a whole different thing. <laughs> Damn, like whole, I can start my own universe, the Oppenheimer universe, the Matt the, the, the Jim Rat G- universe, Matt the Jim Rat universe, the, the Matt the Jim Rat cinematic universe. <laughs> <laughs> like an MCU Charlotte if I had been in that the Matt Cinematic Universe the MCU that'd be fire I'd appreciate that mm-hmm. that could go that could I'd, go hard I'd watch I'd watch Matt well, I mean what a big thing speaking of cinematic universes that's actually a beautiful segue into what I've been wearing on my head uh showing you guys off here the little Venom piece uh this was a piece from Empire or en- Empire Enemy of the State as you see by that uh that tag there um yeah no i mean shout out to these guys they this was actually the piece that me and logan won from the 2v2 tournament that was held in infinite paintball um so i just wanted to give a shout out to them on the show for running such an event it was a cool way that they could give away one of their you know exclusive pieces is what they call it but um every drop that enemy of the state does they have a headband or a piece of merch or something that they kind of keep as like you know the special one and this was you know the one that they did it was the venom piece um and i think it was awesome they held you know a little tournament and hey the winners of the tournament got the only two in existence uh so you know luckily enough that was me and logan uh we were able to get it done but uh yeah no shout out to those guys i i appreciate what they were doing um you know one of the things that I thought was awesome and kind of got me onto the brand was the collaboration they did with Will, uh, 40 Media, the Everyday Above Ground shirt. I think that's fucking sick. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I, I wanted to give a shout out to them. And, I, you know, that kind of fit out well with cinematic universes. I've got Venom on my head right now, mm-hmm. as you guys can see over there. But, uh, but yeah, so... Uh, you know, in other infinite paintball news, we got, uh, you know, if you guys are listening to this on the public release, uh, there's actually going to be a new updated version of infinite coming out later this week, beta version 1.2. Uh, we got hit markers, we got new animations, we've got, uh, updated, uh, you know, like quality of life features. There's a new main menu, um, a whole bunch of stuff coming. I actually was testing it out just the other night with Ethan, the, uh, dev behind the game. Um, worked with him, uh, you know, a little bit now trying to help, uh, push the game out into the future. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Matt, w- what's going on, man? I know you have a PC. So why have I not seen you in a server yet? Why, why have we not run some one of you woods digitally? Why are yet? they not Matt, the gym rats? Why are they not a team called Matt, the gym rats with a Z at the end? That's a great a point. question, man. I dude, I haven't picked up video games in so long. I've just been so focused on like trying to get things done. 
Um, I would love to play more, dude. Um, I literally just read my my Instagram message request before we came on, or before I came on, and uh, somebody was like, "Hey, do you want to play Infinite Paintball?" <laughs> Let's <laughs> but, go. Uh, <laughs> but, it's, um, it's it's a blast, bro. It's honestly so much there, fun. Dude. I I will say like a couple of the updates that he made coming into the new version, like it really shows that Ethan's serious about like making this the best that he can. Um, this is already version 1.2. The game came out, I want to say a month ago, and he's already been, you know, adding, you know, two new patches now to kind of help make things better. Uh, adding new animations, like I said, there's now hit markers in the game. Scoreboard is being reworked, like a whole bunch of stuff that's coming through. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's a ton of fun. And, and dude, it's paintball. Like, come on, bro. What, what's going on here? It's a play the field. I'll get on, dude. Drops. Let, let me know and I'll get on at least once a week. How about that? I all right yeah we'll, we'll have to do something we'll have to get some clips down or something we'll together something but uh i do also want to give a shout out to the from the sidelines team so this is a team of that i have in the ixl which is the quote-unquote competitive version of this um but i <laughs> ixl my team consists of ronnie dizon keith brown and all of their high level gaming friends which includes a guy jovi shout out to jovi he's a coach for evil geniuses for their uh female team that plays valorant um, so they're actually competing in challenges right now. Uh, shout out him. He fucking does awesome stuff. Uh, but we are 7-0 in ranked play. So come get at us. We win mm -hmm. everything. We don't lose from the sidelines is the best. And uh, yeah, no, shout Secure out to all those pockets. guys. Uh, we got Brick, you know, all the other guys over there. But uh, but yeah, no. So we're running it over there. If you want to see if you got what it takes, go get joined up in the IXL Discord. See if you can come take us down. But uh, we're on a tear right now in season one, quote unquote, of the competitive league. I, I use quotes because it's oh, all kind of like, dude, this is a beta. So it's it's this is early days to be doing all this shit. But all right, let's it's try it out. Let's see what this, happens. Funny looking back at this. It's going to be funny looking back at this in a year. It, it will be for sure. No, <laughs> that'll be funny seeing like where the game's at then versus now. I wonder what, what did we start first start playing it? Do you know, oh, dude, do you that know alpha was? footage I had was from um, October. Because that was so October a, of last yeah, year. Yeah, because it was before World Cup last year. We got the first access to be able to go and try it gotcha. out. Man, and see, seeing that difference, oh my god, that's how that's how you know the guy's serious. It is literally a completely different game. And it was and, it, oh, can I say this is relatable? Then as somebody with Matt, the oh, for rap. sure, for sure. So, Matt, you know that video you sliding? You're like, oh, this is the this is the most watched YouTube video. No joke. That's how you. That's how sometimes you can slide an infinite paintball. You're just like <laughs> sliding on the ground with your gun up, and you're just like shooting, sliding perfectly like a snake. It is amazing. That's yeah, funny. and I mean, snake slither gang, slither gang. Yep, that was the thing that we made. But uh, yeah, I mean, dude, it's it's a freaking blast. If you guys haven't got out there yet, I mean, I'm we're not sponsored by them. There is no money happening here. This is literally just my passion for the game because I think it's a fucking blast. I like uh, video but, games. And I like paintball. Yeah, go check out Infinite Paintball. It's on Steam right now. You guys can go download it. Uh, but Matt, you you literally have a code. You have no excuse. You already own the game. I know for a fact you do because I helped you get access to the game. So let's uh, let's get in there. Let's let's run some shit every now and then. Come on, brother. Okay, Sweet. sounds good. All right, Sweet. we got him on the show. There we go. Confirmed. Uh, yeah, we making from stuff. <laughs> we can't keep using that same clip, man. We can use it for we can use it for at least one guest every episode every single every single episode we can once use an episode once. we can yeah legally find people in bad situations i love that mm -hmm. all right perfect um so guys i'm at the point in the show where i gotta pee so why don't you guys hold it down for just i don't know a couple minutes i will be right back and we will uh we'll can carry on with uh what's been going on tonight guys we we got this so Matt, don't get me canceled that's all i ask i don't know if i can I'm so, so I need to canceled. no um <laughs> <laughs> is, is my camera fuck is, is it delayed it's, it's, all, right. Ish. Ish. all right how many fingers am i holding up I don't know yet. They're not up yet. Okay, not <laughs> you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's delayed. All right. Thank you. So, uh, have you had any big celebrity interactions, Matt? Uh, any big celebrity interactions? Besides yourself, yeah. besides yourself, obviously. <laughs> no, I haven't, dude, to be honest. No, no mm. I mean, like, I feel like Instagram is where you get most of the clout, and I have, like, 17K on Instagram, so it's not Damn. like anything... It's not like anything that like somebody would be like, oh, wow, this guy's really popular. You know, they just be like, okay, maybe this guy does something that's unique. Gotcha. Um, 
I had one guy reach out about doing videos with me, but um, he, he, I don't know. I, I just was like, I wasn't about it. So, but he was like, uh, he, he wasn't a big YouTuber at all. He had just like done videos with other big YouTubers. Okay, um, gotcha. Yeah, but no, no, no celebrity interactions. Um, I think of anything. Like, like seeing celebrities out and about at all. Uh, uh, like maybe the time when you were in Vegas. I don't know. No, I mean, I had, I, ha I mean, I have celebrities every now and then like, like my videos. Um, but nah, no, I don't, ha I don't have any, to be honest, like zero Damn. point zero. Damn, me okay. and Brando got to introduce you to our friend. Jason Brando, you know? Momoa. Yeah, Jason hey. Momoa, dude. Yeah, dinner with Jason Momoa. Yeah. That was wild. Like Aquaman himself, dude. It was absolutely bonkers. I, that feel, guy, I feel like it was just a guy that looked like him. No, dead no, ass. No, here, dead wait, ass. I'll well, send you a picture. Sent, you a picture right are, now. I, already, I already had it my ready. God, yeah. My guy. In, in the chat. Check that out. Check him out. It doesn't look like y'all are having dinner with I, him, to be honest. <laughs> well, obviously, because now, well, dude, there was a camera crew around. We didn't want to be We didn't want to be rude and fucking pull our phones out. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they were actively filming. They were actively yeah. filming something. So we didn't want to so. be that guy that, you know, pulls a fucking phone out right in front of him. So, you know. Yeah. We 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 ate in the same restaurant as yep. Jason Momoa. Yep, had dinner with Jason that's, Momoa. That's legit. Is Dude, he as it, big as he looks on the camera? He is thick. He is yeah, a thick, thick boy. boy. He definitely is but, a thick uh, boy. But not as tall as I thought. Yeah, the not camera great. makes everyone look shorter, taller. Actually, that goddamn yeah. tight ass suit underwater and shit. The flying hair. Yeah. In water. Yeah, that's what I always ask. That's my first question whenever I see people. I'm like, "Am I as short as you thought I'd be?" And they were like. No, you're shorter. <laughs> like, no, okay. he's shorter. I yeah, said I the that. opposite. When, when I first met you, I, I was like, damn, he's taller than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The first time I met Dylan, um, Dylan Fowler, I was like, am I shorter than you thought I'd be? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, it like adds some inches on if you're short and it takes some inches off if you're tall. It's that uh, when the filming, the headspace, you know, yep. reminds me a little bit. Hey, I've taught him. There we go. Yeah. I'm proud you know of what some, I got some good photos this gotta weekend. Gotta have some good headroom. Headspace, you know, had some good he had some headroom at the perfect level, you know, where you can see the background. So. I mean, if if we're talking about good headroom photos, like, do we want to just go ahead and throw these up, guys? Like, we've got some great stuff that's going to be coming out for, uh, you know, our our merch line it's coming out. Uh, let's uh, let's see throw it. those up here on the screen. I'm gonna actually. I'll throw these into the chat for you, Matt, so that way you can see these. Uh, but yeah, so uh, shout out to Shelter Photos. Uh, he definitely helped us out getting some cool stuff of our merchandise. Uh, some of those are going to be going up on the screen right now. So if you're watching, you'll be seeing those. But hey, I'll uh, throw those in the chat for mm -hmm. you to see, Matt. But uh, but yeah, guys, we got new merch dropping. Oh. And uh, we got some cool pieces. We got the Mafia Productions T. Uh, you guys so can check that out over here. Just the the clean version. It's got the logo, or well, you know, the XXV logo. Uh, we worked with them over there in Texas. Appreciate Michael everything that he's been helping us out with. Um, and he's also actually going to be coming onto the show in the next couple of weeks to kind of you know talk about how XXV has been setting up stuff and uh, getting stuff done. So we got the new Mafia Productions T, which I just showed off as well as the podcast shirt so we got a little back logo on there for you and then so fire. the regular shirt logo on the front and uh yeah so these are all in the same blanks that they use for all the other creator stuff so shout out to xxv we appreciate them uh, this is something we've been working on for a couple months now at this point, trying to get all this together. Uh, if you are watching this on the, the you know, the YouTube version, the Spotify version, um, these are live right now. So you can head on over to their website and pick up some for yourself. Uh, grab maybe a podcast shirt, a, uh, you know, Mafia production shirt, you know, feel, uh, feel cool. Feel, uh, you know, get, get some swag to uh, support With the, the brand. The shells, dude. Yeah, well, that, that's the other part. You got to get the, the, the shirt and then the shells, though, that completes the whole look. But, uh, but yeah, so we got that that one over here. I'll show you guys that one more time. There we go, but yeah. So appreciate uh, Michael over there at XXV for hooking us up with uh, some new merch. It's uh, it's been a long time in the uh, in the what was the right right saying for that? It's been a long time coming. There we go. Uh, but yeah, we're there. So yeah, hey, you got your new merch coming soon, Brandon or Matt? We've got ours coming right now. Fucking. Getting names mixed up here, but that's what happens you know, when Brandon's you're got the merch about a quarter too, bottle right? into a whiskey. So, Brandon, Brandon, we gotta make you some merch now, brother. 
I'm getting I'm getting myself some Matt the Gym Rat merch. Another deposit. Yeah, Got to make it. I mean, so I I know we've asked about that before, but like, have did you know that would become a whole thing, man? Like when you started that, was that just? No, I just did it. You know, I was like, I'm gonna be in the gym all the time. Like, you know, everything adds up. So I was like, it's just another deposit. And um, then I was like, you know what? I'll just, you know, there's other people tagging me in it. There's other people doing it. I might as well turn it on, put it on a shirt. You know, we sold a couple at Cup, um, and then everyone's been asking since. And so I was like, I'll just try and, you know, give a shot at it. Um, it's a lot of work to to make merch, uh, especially like how I want to do it and make sure everything's like right. Um, and also with like my limited time now, it's like I want I want to focus on YouTube mainly, and then um, I've been trying to grow my Instagram a little bit. So it's like everything at once. But uh, mm. uh, I'm excited, dude. And um, no, I never knew it'd be a big thing, but it's uh, once people started latching onto it and you know tagging me in it, I definitely realized that um, these little little motivational things that I do every day that maybe I don't think are motivational, other people do draw inspiration from, and it's really cool. Yeah, I think that's a very important thing that you hit on there is just like how much time it takes to do all these different facets, you know, I mean, I think a lot of people kind of do, you know, overestimate or I guess underestimate that when they look at a content creator, like just the simplest things is like getting a merch website up with, you know, designs that you're proud of, you know, with a look that you're proud of, like it takes a good amount of time to do so. And when like, you know, a guy like yourself, you have other, you know, you're kind of big boy daytime job where you got to go spend you know your eight hours over there every day yeah you know it kind of bogs you down so it, it's cool to see you know making the progress that you are and uh you know i think it's good that yeah that you get that message out there you know like it's content stuff like it does take a lot of time from the people who are creating it and who are you know top down from it mm -hmm. yeah that was another thing some guy asked me at philly he's like do you edit your videos i said dude every video you've ever seen on any of my channels on any of my mm -hmm everything i've edited You're done yes yeah so what a flex it's, it's, yeah it's, <laughs> well, i don't it's mean funny. to flex it but it's like it's like yeah everything you see is my, it's a talent, my bro. Own original work yeah it's genuine it's talent, for dude. me seriously you and ryan have some talent that not a lot of people can get well and it's funny that's one of the things that you see you know whatever your favorite youtuber is you know insert x youtuber here the first thing they'll outsource is their video editing whether it's, you know, it so extreme long, yeah. highlights or, you know, whether they just have someone start to come in and edit all their YouTube stuff where I'm like, it, it does save you hours and it, and it takes a long time to do. But, you know, it's one of those things that like you kind of do take a sense of pride to it's like I'm still I'm touching my content from every part start to finish. You know, I'm there during the filming process. I'm there during, you know, the final process, getting it ready to go. I'm there during the edit like. It, it makes you feel, I guess, a little bit more involved and 100% yeah, you. it sucks that eventually you might need to bring someone else in to kind of help out with that. But, you know, it's it's one of those things that when you're kind of starting out in this, it's one of the, you know, pride levels that you can take. And I think you've done a really good job for bringing your channel to where it is just off your back alone and not bringing in someone else. Yeah, man, I think that. um I always tell people it's like I don't know if I could trust somebody else editing my videos, but I think I could. Um, it's just uh, I don't think my my money investment would be worth it unless I mean it, it might be um, just so I could push out more content. I think the other pro about that is that I can focus more on making better videos and focus less on actually editing the videos and making like sure. the, the actual video itself better. The time um, spent I mean, becomes different yeah like you can focus so much to more time on scripting the video and making sure that you have everything there and focusing on the thumbnail pictures and things like that instead of you know uh worrying about getting home and editing it all and sorting all the footage you can just kind of outsource it and once somebody finds the style that's like appropriate then they could just run with it yeah for sure no i mean damn matt you inspire me yeah, I mean, if you see like different, you know, YouTubers, you know, here and there, you'll you'll see them kind of have that same back to back, like kind of style of their videos. And that usually comes from they found an editor they liked and now they pay him and he just makes all their videos. And, yep. you know, it, it works out for both people. You know, editor gets paid, they make some money and, the uh, you know, person themselves is able to spend more time on stuff that isn't, you know, the actual like, all right, cut got to get that track onto here got to fucking now bring in this logo that's then gonna be you know pulled in like you're just you're spending hours of time that you don't need to essentially so um no it's uh it, yeah that's 
I guess maybe that's the goal eventually, but no, for now I'm proud that, you know, myself and I know you carry that pride too, like you just said that you're, you know, you're, you're able to create it yourself and kind of have hands on the whole way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I always tell people it's like building a, a Lego set, you know, I've, I've said this before to y'all, but putting a, putting a Lego set together and showing it off to everyone. Dead ass. If you guys want, I'll go grab my Lego set that I just built. If you guys really want. <laughs> Did you seriously just build a Lego set? <laughs> yeah, you guys want to see it? Well, I built. Let's do it. Okay, so built, go so get your goddamn built, Lego this set. One, this is one of them. I built this one. Okay, that's kind of fire yes, though. It's a T-Rex. If you guys you know aren't watching you know the video, go tune in the video. You got to see some of Hatch's right, creations. This one, this one's sick. This one's sick. This one's my centerpiece. Hey, also yeah, shout yeah. out Cali. We haven't shouted out Cali get, in quite a long time. Okay, okay, go go get your centerpiece. But uh. Yeah, no, I mean, we're, we are starting to wind it down here. So, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, uh, give a shout out to Matt and kind of for s coming on, you know, spending some time with us. It's, it was something that happened incredibly last minute. Because like I said earlier, unfortunately, some people flaked on us and that's, that's not always the best, but, uh, you know, worry, we do boys, what I'm we here. can Don't here. Worry. I'm here. Check me out. <laughs> we do what we can do to kind of keep the content go. going. So Hatch is going to bring his Legos in now. Dude, tell me that shit is not. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yo. A cherry blossom tree. The cherry blossom That actually is fire. Dude. Tell me that puppy ain't fire, dude. With okay. Little, you got to go check out the Lego video of this. Rocks, dude? Damn. <laughs> I, I, I wish his video feed was a little better, but that, you know that actually saying? does you look pretty fire. That's not sick. It definitely looks sick. He's got his headphones on now and he can hear us. But uh, yeah, no, that's fire. I wish your video was just a tiny bit better. But uh, so but I, yeah, I, I love it, man. That's you sick. know, it's been I my like thing it. lately, dude. It's, uh, imagine, imagine when you have your own mansion one day and all your centerpieces are just Legos. How sick would that be, dude? I'm, a, I'm an adult now, so I can do that. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, imagine now. if you had your own YouTube videos and you edited them and showed them to everyone. <laughs> that's essentially, yeah, that's kind of what it is. Yeah. my analogy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, so like my Lego sets, me like Matt, I build my own shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to outsource my Lego builders. I'm proud of my work. You don't bring in foreign migrant labor for your Lego? No, nah, I, don't, I don't need to. <laughs> you keep it strictly above the border? All right, good to know. You know, me and Matt, and we all, we all take pride in our own work. You know, we all take, take pride in our own work. Cut to so. There's, there's a weird metaphor there that I don't really want to walk into. Um, but yeah, guys, I, one of the other things I wanted to do tonight is, uh, you know, I, I want to give a special kind of shout out to some of our supporters who are, uh, you know, kind enough to help us keep this show going at, uh, you know, the route that it does. Um, shout out to everyone who's been signed up on the Patreon. Um, without you guys, obviously, I mean, we, we want to be here at this point. That's kind of essentially what it comes down to. Um, so all of our Patreon members, we got all the guys over there. Um, we got, I mean, God, pulling it up, pulling it up. Okay, there we go. Filter, right filter. There we go. God, there's so many different filters on Patreon's back end. Cool. So we got Dave Morgan. We got Drew Irvine. We got Michael Bear. We got Ryan Doss. Those are all of our producers. We appreciate you guys. Um, and then as well, we got Alex Frazier, Blake Clarkson, Brandon Brando Baird, who's on the show. Uh, who, yeah, he's still signed up so he can see the shit. But uh, Brandon Ortega, Dan Napoli, Evan Fernandez is signed up. Uh, Josh Penix, Lasra Lopez, Mark Hernandez, Matthew Davies, Mike Ryan, Shelda Photos, Stephen Hatch, and then last but definitely not least, Patrick Middleton, uh, who comes in as one of our, you know, kind of most premier supporters. We appreciate all that he does to help out, not just us Thank over here Pat. on the show, but also what he does to help out the different teams and stuff out of Capital Edge. He's a great patron for paintball as a whole. So, definitely appreciate you thank you for the time that you spent not only supporting us but paintball um and all of our other patreons appreciate you guys you know uh you guys definitely make this show more feasible to do and uh more possible and uh hell i might even be frosting my tips later this year if more of you guys sign up for that so uh let's, yes, let's see what happens do it. but it's uh you know it's been a year guys we did a, a year of podcast every week and uh well Let's go another year. Let's figure that out. Let's do 104. We'll meet back well, here. So what, 104. So what are we gonna? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do for our two-year thing? What 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 specialness are we gonna do? Uh, we burned down a paintball field. Which one Ooh. are we picking? I I don't know. Whichever one has the best insurance. Nice. You know uh, what I mean? Get, we gotta get in on the ground floor. We commit like arson. Two-year goal. Boom. I love all right, it. All right. Matt's like, all right, sign me it's up. It's hella edgy, bro. <laughs> that could be like, like so a ag. We can do a fucking so YouTube ag, video. Like Mr. Beast ag, style. Bro. 
we could do it Mr. Beast style or like uh, a Danny Danny Duncan style. We just blow shit up. Yeah, so I no, burned down I... an entire paintball field in <laughs> one night. <laughs> That's actually a perfect imitation. <laughs> So, um, no, yeah, how about yeah, we do knows. no damage to physical property? I feel like that probably is the best way to move forward. <sighs> <laughs> I know I'm the fun police, but like, uh, you know, might be smart not to burn down anything. <laughs> Maybe we should go hang out with the night marches for a year. Imagine we do like our, uh, our 104th. Dude, like, I feel like the, the episode of the show has to be night marchers or bust or something like that. Because goddamn, you spent majority of your time not only this show but this past week on like the night marchers. Did you what become one of them? Like, do you feel like no, you now need to go home Sheldon, to them? Sheldon, I truly believe that motherfucker was possessed for a second. That guy was fucking wild. The look yeah, in his eyes was, did not say human, bro. He was tripping. It said crackhead. Brando saw right. it was uh, <sighs> I'm glad that happened the last night. Thank God that happened the last night. Cause if I heard that the first night, I would have been like, all right, no thanks. I'm good. I don't fuck with the night marchers. I mean, I, I don't know how you went through all this and still was brave enough to go out there, but you did. So, hey, shout out to Hatch. Uh, he called me before he did it and he said it was all for content. So I appreciate you, man. In the I'm name of content, glad that you guys went out there content. and had to go find some scary beasts or things. And apparently they kept you on a, a rock point. face. Cedar, Cedar brought up a good point, right? Because me and him were like, you know, we're not 99. Well, we're almost 100 percent sure we're not going to see anything. But if we do. How crazy would that be if we do? I guess, yeah. If you had the first footage of like confirmed paranormal activity, that would be pretty Dude, cool. I think we even it's had a viral GoPro activity. Going. I we even had the GoPro going. The wind and rain was so wild. I don't even think it would have mattered. It was just, it was wild. Seriously. Well, all right. It's when, one of those moments that none of us will ever be able to experience if you weren't there. It's one of those type of things. I felt their presence though. That's for sure. <laughs> Jesus. Well, they kept you on that rock. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, they, they, they pushed you back on when Brando apparently internet. lost. They tried disconnecting my internet. They, they caught me, though. They that is true. Me, in a year, we have never had you once drop out internet-wise. So that is a little crazy, I would say. Yeah, so my, my apologies, everybody. So you know what? I'm going to try my best to make sure it never happens again. Welcome That's... to my world. <laughs> Welcome to my as you're bitty yeah. and grainy and yeah kind of messed up but it's okay we still love you brandon brando we're glad really that you're here made the biggest the biggest change brando has made the biggest change in less time it's been trying but okay is that a popsicle is that a popsicle let's not ask questions <laughs> um what kind of popsicle is that <laughs> yeah it's a popsicle is that, is that amazing <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh, it must be your suppository, my bad. <laughs> yeah, that's my allergy pill. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. All right, guys, we got to get the fuck out of the show. If you guys stuck around this log, we appreciate you. Hatch, we know you had a code word of the week, so what is that code word? You gave it to me earlier on in the day. Honestly, I forgot that one, so we're gonna. I gotta look. I gotta look back. Well, up. I, I do know the code word. Okay, it's gonna be hanging in Hawaii. I, yeah. I do like night uh, marchers, but Hatch literally texted me earlier today and is like, pre-ordering the code word. It's hanging in Hawaii. I thought so like hanging in Hawaii. On, on, hanging in Hawaii. Night marchers forever. Something. Give me some. Give me one of those two, and we're good. All right. Yeah. So we'll, we'll say we us, accept comments. two answers this week: hanging in Hawaii and night marchers forever. Is that is that good? Is that a, is that a Gratitude. fair agreement? Feels great, honestly. Feels great. Well, perfect. Feels man. like I left a perfect exclamation point on that. Hell yeah, bro. All right. So, uh, I guess my last couple things I got to say make sure you guys rate the show. If you stayed around this long, I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. Just drop a rating. It takes four seconds out of your time. It's free to do, and it helps out the show. We'd appreciate it. Uh, you can also subscribe on the different platforms podcast uh, or Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube. Just hit the follow button or subscribe button. You'll be able to get updated whenever the show goes live. Um, we also have the Patreon, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, Give a headband away today. So shout out to Dan Shelley again. He's going to be winning the headband for this past month. Uh, but we got more stuff coming up in the future. Uh, very excited about that. Also shout out to Dave Morgan, Ryan Doss, and Blake Clarkson, who are going to be getting some nectar energy. So look out for a message from me. Uh, going to be kind of, you know, getting your address or something like that. We're going to figure that out. But uh, but yeah, guys, uh, thanks for everyone for coming along. Um, if you want to get more information about the Patreon or the show in general, head over to patreon.com slash mafia 
Productions, all one word over there. And uh, yeah, our sponsors, let's not forget them. Liquid IV, uh, there's the front of the box. Hydration Multiplier, liquidiv.com. He's code mafia underscore mafia, get 20% off and free shipping. And then lastly, one of the last things I'll talk about tonight, Nectar Energy, N-E-C-T-R dot energy slash mafia productions or code mafia productions, all one word gets you a buy three, get one free. So you're going to buy two essentially and get one free. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I can never pronounce that deal, right? Because it's such a weirdly written deal. Why didn't you just give me a flat percentage Nectar? That would have been great. I would have appreciated that, but whatever. Um, so thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to everyone out there who's paying attention to the show. We made it a year, guys. We honestly wouldn't have done it without you. Um, the little support things like the rating, the subscribing, those honestly help and push our show out organically to more people so they can, you know, just hear it. And that's that's really the biggest thing, you know, just give give us a chance. That's all that's all we're asking over here on the show. So uh we appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in every week. Hatch Brando, you got anything you guys want to say to our, you know, our listeners? I wanna say, uh, yo, where do we find Matt, where do we find you at? Uh, if you want to find me, it's anywhere at Matt the Gym Rat on socials. Subscribe to Matt the Goddamn Gym Rat, my favorite YouTuber ever. Let's go. So, you know, another yeah. deposit, another day, you know? Another deposit. That's, another that's day. my thing. Damn, you see that lighting on them veins? Holy shit, bro. <laughs> God damn, dude. He's got the streamer set up. He's chilling over there. Yeah. Dude, that was a fucking veiny like that chick's Hawaii fucking dick soap. Remember that, Brando? I do remember that. Dude, that shit was fucking sick. I don't know what we just walked into. I know. I just, it was (laughs) crazy. (laughs) It was so demonetized. We we walked into this lady selling soap and then she gave us our hidden dick soap. Dude, that shit was veinier than Matt's arms, bro. Maybe not as (laughs) veiny, but. Had that vascularity, man. Without a doubt, bro. Holy shit. (laughs) Well, perfect, guys. I mean, Brandon, you got anything left to say? Hatch kind of took over there. Um. Yeah, year down. Congrats, guys. Uh, I've been here for just over half of it, and uh, yeah, let's, let's make it two. We'll throw you your special show at episode seventy-two because that will be your fifty-second episode. God. So we'll, we'll I'll, I'll do have something fun. I'll have a cake for you. You won't be able to physically eat it, but maybe it'll be like it'll be cake. at Hatch's house. You have to go down to Hatch Ooh. to actually get it. Didn't even didn't even get to the cake we stole, but. Uh, that, maybe that's next week. Wait, you guys stole a cake? All right. Well, maybe. tune in next week to hear about how these guys stole a cake. No, mm-hmm. uh, but in all reality, guys, do like I said. You know, thank you for all the support on the show. It's it's been a year. I mean, I feel like we've done our part. We've been doing the consistent uploads. Now, please, you know, help us out and just do your part. You know, like I said, the simple things, the rating, the subscribing, all that stuff. That really helps us out. Um, thank you to our two sponsors, Nectar Energy, Liquid IV. Thank you to our guest for coming on the show tonight, Matt the Gym Rat. Like Hatch said, you can check him out on all socials. At mm-hmm. Matt the Gym Rat. It's pretty self-explanatory on that one. And uh, Hatch is curling up his mustache. He seems to be getting ready for it. You yep. know what time it is, brother. Why don't you take us on it home? It is what it is, dude. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one. Number 52. We're out.